This episode of the Fuse 4 Network podcast is brought to you by Green Man Gaming. Up till January 6th, you can get great gaming deals, great, awesome, up to 50, 75% off. That's over at greenmangaming.com until January 6th. And speaking of January, we so happen to be in a new year. Oh my god. Hello, everybody. This is the Fuse 4 Network podcast episode number 32. Happy New Year. I'm one of your hosts, Dave McCauley, but I'm also joined by these this lovely, beautiful, sexy pantle, pantle, panel of gentlemen right below me. Pantaloons, panties, I don't know. Gentlemen. Let's start off with Brad. Hello, sir. Um, hi. Would you like some pantaloons? I don't know, man. You don't want panel? I'm wearing my last pair right now, man. Oh, damn. Well, yeah. <laughs> Happy New Year, so. Woo! All Woo! right. And then we've got Tyler. Oh, is that the order we're going in now, I guess? Uh, it says at the bottom, doesn't it? Or is it different for everybody? I'm on the end of the on mine. Oh, I, I, so, yeah, it is different. <laughs> fine, what the fuck? I'm here anyway. And I'm the only one whose lower third isn't working right now. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, nothing's perfect. I, I fucking quit. It's I, the new year. We're done. New Year. New at least, at least my mouth matches what I'm saying. Hey, that's true. <laughs> so Fuck, there. I probably jinxed it. We fixed one thing in the New Year. We fixed one thing, and then we have Chris. You know, I was about to say something, then I forgot to mute myself. Now I'm muted. By the way, I do have pantaloons. So, um, um, um oh, anyways, where did you just pull those out of? I, where did I they ha- come from? I had uh, those my uh. One of my gifts, I put them over there, and then I, I went to go grab it, so. Oh, my so. God. I, I didn't see you get up and go. I was like, what? No, I was like this the whole time. I was like. <laughs> and then he's just like. <laughs> and, I'm like and, and then I'm like, ooh, look it. I got pantaloons, so. Olé. Okay. In, um, the, in the stockpile of things I have around me. Yeah, in the stockpile oh. I have back there because of uh, birthday slash Christmas stuff back there, so. That's right. It was your birthday. Yesterday. Yes. Oh, he's now five. Ooh. Yes. Five years old. Yes, five. I'm five, people, five. How old do you have to be to go to kindergarten? Is it five or six? I don't know. Something like that. Might be different everywhere. Yeah, okay, it's five. Oh. <laughs> and then we have Richard. Richard. <laughs> Oh, picnic, picnic, picnic. <laughs> Somebody keeps muting him. Oh, 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 how do you... Oh, can I unmute him? I don't know if I can. Let's see. Master controls. Hello. Oh, son of a bitch. Now everybody's uh. muted themselves. <laughs> <laughs> what can you do? Oh, God. Uh, happy and... birthday, Mufasa. Thank you. Oh, now he's muted. I muted himself. And last but not least, we have Zio. Go, Zio! Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember doing that. It, at every stream that would happen in, like, 2010, you'd show up and i go, Oh, it's Zio, go, Zio! <laughs> Oh, oh, we know Zio's here now. <laughs> so, it's a new year, everybody. If you if you didn't already know, I'm letting you in on a little bit of information. Oh, it's 2014? <gasps> Shit. Oh. It's, yeah. it's not, it's no 2013? I, I know. <sighs> we might die. I, I, was there some Mayan thing? I mean, every fucking year there's supposed to be some Mayan calendar shit. I have no idea. I read somewhere on Twitter, somebody said that there was one, and there's other people saying there wasn't, fucking but, mayos. yeah, I don't know. Always fucking us over. Goddamn mayos. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Goddamn mayos. Man, I just... Fucking condiments. Yeah. 
God, they just they hang up with ketchup and mustard, all right? That's enough of their shit. They don't need a calendar. We have calendars. Think, They're think, called advent calendars, and they have chocolate in the them. Mayans, do you think the Mayans just, like, follow behind, like, the whole t- trope of, like, condiments? So they have, the like, the ketchup tribe, the mustard tribe, and then, like, the mayonnaise tribe? I don't fucking The relish tribe? <laughs> what, why do they got, wait, wait, why do they got to be tribes? Why can't they be, uh, you know, an uprising civilization like us, hmm? Well, They're why? just families. Well, you just got to be a disgusting pig like that, huh? Why is he not intelligent? Well, I'm an ape. Whoa, whoa! Oh, shit. <laughs> he secretly transformed into a monkey. He's Sun Wukong. It's called evolution. He's Sun Wukong. <laughs> what, you're, so now you're Goku? <gasps> <laughs> you're sure. Sun Goku, apparently? <laughs> <laughs> You so, staff and everything. So before oh, yeah. we move on, we we can all say it's it now. Little. We can all say it now. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Dave <laughs> shaved your face. <laughs> what? what are you supposed to? What are, uh, I didn't know what supposed to say. Get the memo of what we're supposed to say. No, I was interested in seeing what everybody would say just out of nowhere. I was was actually going to say something. I was going to copy somebody. I would have said Happy New Year, but I didn't get the memo. (laughs) I I thought we were going to say, say, like, Happy Birthday, Chris, or something. Yeah, I thought we were going to say something like, what? Fuck you, Dave. Frosty, your birthday's like... already over. I should have just said Mufasa. I know. Is no longer, I am no longer allowed to be... I am not allowed to be mean to you again. <laughs> yeah, but no, seriously. I don't know what you guys were going to say. It was like... I, I was going to say... I was going to say Mufasa go jump off a cliff. <gasps> <laughs> I don't know. That, that one didn't sound I was going to wait to see what someone else was going to say and just try to copy them. <laughs> <laughs> How are you gonna copy someone when it's being said? Like you can't like uh, you, you already say half the word. Could have gone with the the totally safe bet and just gone. <laughs> 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 you know, the safe bet is going. Like, hey, hey. <laughs> that's like that's like lip syncing to a song. Yeah, the part where people singing songs just go like hey. That's like lip syncing to a song you so don't. This way you fit it. Oh, it, here's another thing. Another thing for the New Year's. <gasps> Brad doesn't have caveman hair anymore. It's all gone. What, he looks so what, cute. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, I still did you, have afro hair, sort of. Did, did you take yeah, it and just like cut around it, with but, nice so trim? I, have it. I put a bowl on my head, and then I was like... That's how they did my hair as a kid. <laughs> yeah, me, me and Lloyd Christmas you and you must have the exact same barber. It reminds me of, like, the cartoon. Yeah, and, then, and then people always make that joke, ha, you got a bull haircut. Wait, so you you, 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 you put your bull on your head and you cut your hair? Fucking That's no, actually a thing. No, I actually, no, you, I actually went uh, to... So, wait, are you Mandark? God damn it. <laughs> no. Get the hell out of here with that. He could, be, he could be Lloyd Christmas from Dumb and Dumber as well. <laughs> oh, my God. Fucking <laughs> Jim Carrey. Uh, Why did I have to get the haircut? Is everybody just going to start ripping on me? Everybody should no. yes. oh, I can't make L'Oreal have... hair conditioner jokes anymore. Happy, happy hey, I still, hey, I still from, use hair conditioner. I, just use, I still use hair conditioner. I just you use, use considerably plastic. less. Considerably less, obviously. I mean, I still, I still got, I still got a wash in that, you know. That's all right. My my hair used to be really long now, and now it's it's really weird using like oh, this the smallest. Me. The smallest amount of uh, shampoo. <laughs> you got, like, Dave, that's you got, just like, like that tiny, one time. Like, pea-sized amount, and you're like, <laughs> yeah, it's it's like a little a little tiny amount, and I just go and it's like rubbing <laughs> a basic out. It it takes me to to that one video on your channel, Dave, where you where you did the whole transition from long fucking mane to buzz cut. <laughs> you're just like, Ooh. I I thought about doing another one because. Uh, but it was just so hectic because I, I got it cut on Christmas Eve and we were getting everything ready for you know Christmas Eve and Christmas. So I didn't have time to go like set up a camera, just do like a, a small thing and then go, oh, and then have it cut, get it done, and then maybe do like a behind the scenes kind of thing where it was like getting cut because it's always the most, it, it's every time that happens, it's always the coolest thing. You feel like, Oh, the thing going through your hair, and then just a pound fall off onto your lap. It's like, 
What the <laughs> hell? My hair. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you have like the middle all done or one side and you feel like this really cold breeze on your head. You're like, what the fuck? Somebody turn up the heat in the house. It's cold in here. Yeah, it's cold. What is this? What happened? I it's actually. Like, why do I feel the wind on my scalp? <laughs> I, gotta th- I have to thank you actually, Dave, because – I don't feel so bad now. I'm not the only one who didn't shave before this fucking podcast. Oh, uh, dude. Yeah, I know. I got shaved. Oh, but you got a goatee oh, thing going on here, oh, brother. Oh. I got shaved. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't, I don't I even have, have a I don't have right look funny anymore. I, I've been cleanly shaving since fucking Christmas. Oh, here I like we go. I cleanly shaved two days ago. <laughs> two days Two days ago. I don't have that much fight. Two two days ago still counts, asshole. It was was today, this morning, it was just one of those days where I went and I usually do it before having a shower so I can get, like, all the dry skin off after. uh, Yeah. But I looked in the mirror, I was standing there, I was like, Nope, not Dude. today. <laughs> just ever, walk ever, right in the shower. Like, Ooh, one of those times where you just wanted to do it in the shower, you're just like, oh, well, this I, is so much easier. And then oh, all of a sudden it's like, oh, well, blood! No, <laughs> no, no, no. By the way, the best way to do it, they say, and I used to do it this way because we had this after cool... after the shower. No, in the shower because all the moisture is going into your face. In the shower. Or, yeah, or, the shower, or, the or the af- after, after or um, during because all, all that heat's going and you're sucking into your pores, which makes it a lot easier to shave. But uh, yeah, I it used opens to, your pores. Yeah, I used to do it all the time because we had this thing. It's still in there, but um, somebody broke this little mirror that was perfect, and I think it was meant for shaving, this little mirror that was on there. And you could take it off, you could move it around, and you could do everything in the shower. And it was perfect, but now I can't do that anymore because the mirror's broken. And and when that day happened, I felt like crying. Really, I should just think about getting now, now you a just gotta, Now you just got to guess where the hair is, like the patch of hair, and then you go out of the shower, and you're like, hey, look. I got a, I got a spot here. And a spot no, no, here. knowing me, I'd go Patches all the way here. up. I'd go all the way up my head, just like, <laughs> oh, there. And there's just one big ass line that fucking street going. Yeah, across. I can just say I was. I joined a gang recently. <laughs> this is my gang tag. Yeah. <laughs> you, call yourself, you call yourselves the liners. Yeah, yeah, the liners. The, the liners. liners. Yo, we're the liners. <laughs> we so get off my turf. We so dope, man. Yeah, so dope. Oh. Apparently, this is a 1980s Pizza Hut commercial now. Oh, but uh, we have we bootleg Zio. alcohol. Yeah, <laughs> Zio. <laughs> you had your you had your hat off in two months. Let's see this baby Uh-oh. show it off again. Oh damn, son. Oh damn! Look at that. Oh, it's getting there, man. It's getting it's not, there. It's not like the eraser. I gotta grow it out more on the sides, though. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It's kind of like a, just like a. It's, it's all just. Like, it's, it's like a high top. Like yeah. yeah high top. That's it. It. No, way, it's a racer head, guys. Get it right. But you can stick a pick in it, though. It's, fun. <laughs> it's like I'm saying. It's like I'm guile. Oh god. <laughs> god damn it. Just don't go blonde, please. You should totally get, like, the tattoo and everything and, like, wear the tattoo and, like, put glasses like, on. You mean, like, like the, the American flag right here? Yeah, and then, like, take Sonic it off boom. and take it off and be like, Sonic Boom! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got to do that out in the street and have a, bunch of, have a bunch of friends with you that just go flying back when you do it. Like, like, ah. like, like, make a video of it and you just go into, like, Sonic <laughs> Boom! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, uh, 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 uh. So, in the last two months, what has everybody been up to? Like, give a give a rundown of what you've okay. uh, you've been doing. I think I'm the only person here who bought like almost thirty games over the past three months. Man, what a loser! I spending, that much. spending his life on games. What a no, I, that? That I, got I bought like. A shit ton of RPGs, and then I bought, like, Steam Sale came on, and I bought, like, fucking 12 games off of there that I wanted, because they were all, like, super cheap, and they all, all that I wanted. And then Boxing Day, and then Christmas, it's just, like, I, I, I just bought, um, I, like, I got Bioshock Infinite again, because my copy of, on the 360, like, fucked up for whatever reason. 
Uh, so I had to buy the PS3 one because the fucking... This is the funny story is that because the Future Shop here didn't have any 360 copies, so I had to buy the PS3 one. I didn't want to wait any longer because I really wanted to play the game, so I just ended up getting the PS3 one. And now I have the Burial at C DLC on the 360, and I it's awkward because I have it on the, uh, the other console, so basically I can't really... Uh, it just makes me sad, but yeah, I fucking love the game to death, so I mean... I gotta do what I gotta do. Get um, the money by the season pass. Yeah, that's that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And then um, I've been playing a lot of ease games. I've just been really loving those, and that's pretty much it. That's like honestly, over the past two months, I mean, like work, and then after coming off work, just celebrating the holidays and that, just kind of relaxing. Really, that's all I've been really doing. So. What was the uh, ease? Is that the um, the one that's on Steam? Ease Origin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ease yeah. is basically Ease is like an RPG, but it's actually different from what you think as an RPG. It's actually yeah. uh, it's actually like platforming and you like attack shit and it's just like it's it's kinda like a what you call it? Like not like a beat 'em up but RPG. Yeah, I guess you can say action RPG because you do role play, obviously. So it's 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 like that, but it's something you might like in a way because you actually do like get to beat the shit out of things, equip your stuff, solve <laughs> puzzles. I mean, it's a it's a unique game and it's got amazing music. I've been hooked on listening to the Origins uh, soundtrack for the past while, and when I play Ofen Fall Ghana, because I heard that soundtrack is phenomenal. So when I get to that game, I'm probably gonna be hooked on that too. So yeah. yeah. I do have Origins on Steam. I bought it way, I think it was like two weeks after it was released because it, it did look good. It's just another one of those games. Uh, that, I, would, uh, I would say give it a whirl because it's a fantastic game. Yeah, it did, it did look good when I was looking at the preview uh, on uh, Steam. Yeah, because well, what I would suggest doing is, although it's kind of risky, like start off with Unica because her story doesn't tie in with Hugo's in any way. So, well, spoilers, game's ruined. I'm gone. See you no, later. No, 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 no. I'm not spoiling it. I'm not spoiling it. I'm just saying, like, the story makes more sense than when you start off with Hugo because it just throws you into a different situation because the, the story's tied together anyway, and you don't meet up till you you don't meet up with Hugo until like way later on, and there's really nothing that tie in from his story. So it's completely in different scenarios, but it, like kind of like, attaches itself later on with the characters. So, I mean, it's it's really good, and that's why I started off with Unica. That's what my friend told me to do, so I did, so. so Shadezy, Shabam. Yeah. You've yeah. also, you've yeah. also been streaming a lot, right? Yeah, I've been streaming, actually. Um, I forgot, actually, I had to mention that. Uh, I've also been streaming. I did the 12 Days of Christmas, and... That tw- the entire 12 days of Christmas, well, there's one day where I actually just played a different game because I got sick of playing Eternal Sonata for, like, 10 hours straight. But basically, um, <clears throat> I streamed all the way through Eternal Sonata, and I just finished it up a few days ago, and then I played a bit of Shadow of the Colossus during that time, and it was really fun. People actually came in there. Shout out to the people that actually came in, like you guys, um, that came into the chat, and it, it, was, it was really awesome. It was awesome talking with you guys. I, it was... A fantastic little journey, and I really enjoyed playing through the game and while talking with everyone. Had a lot of laughs, and it was just, it was fantastic. And I'm actually since that since then I've been wanting to stream a lot more. So I mean, I, and that's probably what I'm going to start doing. But that's not going to completely maul my time on doing YouTube videos. I'm going to stream, and I'm going to do YouTube videos. I just like streaming because it's super fun. I never had so much fun streaming before until then. So. I, was, uh, I was just searching it up on Xbox.com and seeing if that sale was still going with Eternal Sonata, where it was three seventy-five, but no, it's it's back up to fourteen ninety-nine now. Damn. Yeah. Well, I mean, the PS3 version is way better because they actually fixed a lot of the trans translation issues, and they actually there's an extra dungeon and two extra characters in the PS3 version. So, um, I mean, I I suggest getting that over the three sixty-one, but um. I mean, it's not bad either to play the 361. It's just the PS3. They for they a year later they had to fix all the translation and issues and shit. Because um, I've seen someone put up a picture of like a, one of the scenes where the grammar was all fucked up, <laughs> and instead of instead of I'm or instead of I, it, they put um, well sorry instead of I've they put I and it made no sense. So it's like. Um, 
you're like you're nothing because the quote you're nothing but uh, a figment of the ima imagination I've created. But instead, the the figment of the imagination that I created, it just kind of I don't know. Past tense. It's just I don't know. It seems a little weird. So they fixed in the PS3 version to kind of make it a little bit more make the sentence sound Correct. better. Yeah, <laughs> I was just like, I, I noticed that because I was like, someone's comparing the 361 and the PS3 one. I was just like, holy shit. I was like, they really did fix the translation issues. So, I mean, I mean, it's not that bad, though. It's not, it's it's barely noticeable if you're not just, like, if you don't care about the cutscenes, which there's a lot of them. So, I mean, you should care. So, yeah. No, what, what game watching? is this you're talking about again? Eternal Sonata. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, I watching cutscenes is for losers. Never watch cutscenes. I, I spent probably <laughs> like I spent almost thirty hours playing that game during my stream, and I mean I feel great. I mean I, it's definitely like it definitely takes a lot out of you just because you're streaming like uh, an RPG, especially for like every day, like for five hours straight a day. It, it really does take a lot out of you. But when you really it, you get that kind of like just. You get that sense of adrenaline, like when you start playing at like much later on. You're like it gets much like better, and it's just and it, it definitely motivated me to stream a lot more. And people are actually talking in the chat. It's like, are you ever gonna stream after this? And I was just like, yeah, of course. I mean, why wouldn't I? I mean, I only do this marathon, so it kind of helped me get into the groove, right? So I mean, mm. that's basically. That was, that's basically it. Anyway, enough talking about, enough plugging my stream. That's pretty much it. I had a lot of fun doing it. It <laughs> would have been funny. You ever going to do this ever again? No, fuck no. Hey, no, never. Hey, fuck that. I would have I came up with that snarky reply and be like, fuck no, you're never going to see a stream again for me after these 12 days. <laughs> I was like, I only stream Eternal Sonata because you guys fucking demanded it. You wouldn't shut up. No, I just... <laughs> and after this, I'm shutting down Twitch as well. Just let you guys I'm know. shutting down my Twitch, my my hundred followers that I have on there. I'm shutting it down. Fuck you guys. Are you gonna be, yeah, joining, are you gonna be joining in game? <laughs> he's gonna shut down the entire site of Twitch and Justin.tv. That's what he's gonna do. Uh, what's funny is that um, he's gonna start Brad.tv. God damn it. Brad.tv. <laughs> Brad. 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 And then have it like have everybody streaming on there, and you're just like, uh, anyway, um. But yeah, it's funny because uh, after I finished Eternal Sonata, I actually been I was I was playing Shadow of the Colossus, and I um, this this is funny because I always have these flashbacks thinking about another person that streams and looks at the chat and relies on the chat to um, tell them how to play. The game. <laughs> so basically, I was playing that game and I had no fucking clue what I was doing in Shadow of the Colossus because like it didn't like I wasn't. I'm not going to say it didn't specifically tell me. It just, the game, like, it kind of threw you into a situation where, like, where you're playing it, and you know some of the controls, but you don't really know the rest of them. I wasn't told that you could charge your sword to do more damage on the Colossus. So I was just going, eh, 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 and I was just like, oh, wait, you have to go, eh, and do a shit ton of damage. I didn't do that. I just, I was rushing into it, and then later on, my after my friend Alan told me, Oh, you have to charge your sword to attack the enemy. I was just like, "Well, I'm fucking retarded." <laughs> yeah, I was like, "I cannot believe I forgot about that." You gotta use your stamina, more stamina yeah. to do it. Yeah. Yeah, you really have to put some punch into that freaking like thing. So that's what I ended up doing. I was just like, I feel retarded after that. <laughs> so I mean, I love I loved playing the game. <laughs> <laughs> For Christ's sakes, is our first night back? It's just like busting out the R word. Here we go, you know. Come on. Oh shit! I'm sorry. I know you're out of the group. It, it was it funny because I'm I'm looking down and I see I see Tyler going. Fuck it! I cut that shit out. Stop it! Stop it! Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Okay. No, it's funny. I, oh, I I feel like an idiot doing this. Oh, don't worry about it. Uh, Tyler. What have you been up to? Besides, <laughs> besides just feeling the imminent destruction of our of our stream here, um, I'm sorry. Uh, no, it just slipped out. <laughs> it's, it's just, you can blame society, really. That's it's just become too much of a general term. The general public. 
Honestly, I've been staring at Rich this whole time with his smile, and I've just been like, oh my goodness. He's just so fucking chilled out right now. Um, he's got a hell of a Zoning smile out. on him. He has just got a hell of a smile. Zoning out. It's awesome. Um, I, I wish I could say I've been up to so much exciting things like Brad has. And oh, I wish shush. I could say, Oh, no. I mean, all I've done... Okay. <laughs> I finished up my semester of college for this semester. I'm starting up back uh, later in this month. But um, other than that, uh, I haven't been able to make videos really. And I don't want to get into that here. I'm going to actually, after this podcast, I'll make an update video. Just throw it on my channel and kind of explain it. Uh, I, know, I know the exact feelings, Vince. The exact feelings. It's, it's killing me and... I'll get to it later on. Well, I'll it's killing. It's been. I've been. I, I've been like backlog. You know, when you when you get that feeling, you really want to record. Yeah, I usually go to the toilet though when I'm backlog. <laughs> yeah, and drop a log in the fucking in the toilet. <laughs> Come on, it's our know. first day back, and you're gonna talk about pooping on live. Poop jokes are better than saying the R word. Hey, <laughs> come on. Uh, that was a good laugh for everyone. I don't think talking about shitting makes it any different. The difference. funniest part was me freaking going like this. Going, don't Cut the fucking shit out! What the hell is wrong with you? It's like no, a I'm producer on a show. Cut it. Just cut to commercial. Cut to commercial. No, okay. Do you remember... Do you remember... Like, I don't know if anyone's seen, like, Cat in the Hat, like, Michael with Mike Myers, basically, the free in... With the one scene where he like cuts his tail off and he's just son like, of a bitch. son of a bitch. <laughs> and, and then his face like he's like turn, turn off <laughs> and then like that's kind of what it reminded me of. Oh. Yeah. Hold on. Honestly, I haven't really been up to too much, not as much as I'd like, which is a shame. But uh, you know, I'm glad things are back here. We haven't really lost a step. We still don't know what the fuck we're doing. Um, it's a it's a hoot and a holler. Uh, actually, I don't know if anybody was paying attention, but during the start of the podcast, I had a different pair of headphones in. I had these in, but only one of the earbuds works because I accidentally ripped one of them up the other, the other day. <laughs> so I ordered these on Amazon. I just got them today, and I was actually uh, cutting open the package and putting them on while everybody was talking. <laughs> Oh. So, that's the most interesting fucking thing I've done. I have I have I, headphones, but these fucking headphones are so uncomfortable. Like uh, these actually are perfect. I've never had earbuds like, rest in my ears this good. Okay, yes. it's got like plastic on the side. Like it's kind of like a, a rubber like plastic feeling on your ear. And like after sitting, like it's, it's like sitting, a condom in your ear. God damn it! No, it's like okay, basically it sits on over your ear. And I don't really like these kind of headphones, but it's just like wearing them for like ten minutes. You your fucking ears feel like, like it. It's so painful. Like it hurts. Like I don't know what's up with these headphones, but man, it just sucks wearing these for a while. It's gonna be hard to get used to these. But yeah. But for but for Brad to cut you off for one second, I just saw this in the uh, thing. I just want everyone. Thank you, gamer chick. I just wanted to say that. No, thank you for the belated birthday. Okay, sorry. Go you ahead. know that you know that's Maria, right? Mister Mister Chris. Yeah, she said Mr. Chris. Mr. Chris. Fernando. Okay, that sounded like Chewbacca for a second. Who is this Mufasa? <laughs> he almost died once, you know. <laughs> I killed Mufasa. I don't, I don't know who he, I don't know who, who, who else here could do a good Chewbacca impression, but. <laughs> oh, oh. Hey, Dave. Dave. Well, I was a king of the forest. <laughs> everybody, everybody, everybody listening to the American Idol thing. Everybody listening yes. to the uh, the uh, audio version of this is like. What the fuck just happened? <laughs> we just fucking lost our minds. Uh, we have a bunch of Chewbacca in my ear. What the fuck? <laughs> Sounds like Chewbacca taking a shit. I can only imagine somebody uh, downloaded the, the 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 audio podcast version of this. They're on a bus with like headphones like this, and all so of a like, sudden they have it really loud. Yeah, and they hear oh, everybody yeah. around's like looking. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for someone to say shit like, right now. I'm waiting for yeah. someone to make like a song out of it, like of all of us doing like Chewbacca, and he's just like, mm, the Chewbacca. 
The thing is, that is so fucking possible. What just happened? I feel so. Anyway, I I lost track of what I was doing. Actually. I, I haven't so done anything else interesting. Let's get on to the next guy. God damn it. I feel sorry for the people at home that are like actually listening to this and they hear us making these obnoxious Chewbacca sounds. <laughs> <laughs> We're all just like... And the guy is like sitting there like, Fuck this! Christ, just get to the next guy enough. Go and the on. guy's like, Screw this, I ain't listening to this anymore. Chris. Game over, man! Jump off the bus! <laughs> Chris, what, what about you, man? Jump off a cliff. Um, let's see. Well, consider our days videos yesterday. <laughs> um, besides them, my birthday yesterday, I've been just working my ass off lately, like, it, the last three weeks have been, like, fucking crazy at work, because it's, it's just been so fucking busy, but, besides that, nothing really too much, I got some games on Steam now, I bought nerd. some, nerd, I'm, I'm like Brad, nerd, bought some games on Steam, got gifted <laughs> some games, <laughs> but, um, not, like, nothing much besides that. Really, i just been busy just working, really. Just been making that bank for them hoes yeah. and bitches. Just go, yeah, dance for me, girl. That's what he wants. That's, I know, I know you. I know your tactics. This makes it rain. Yeah, yeah, it girl, makes it rain. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, rain. Also, also I, I'm going to say thank you to Dave. Because I don't have it and I cannot find it right now, but Dave sent me a lovely uh, Christmas. Oh yes, yes, brother. I, have mine. Oh, I, I cannot I find the... it. Mine's around here somewhere. I can't get it at the moment. But... I have something in my nail and it really hurts like a bitch. Right here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Dave, Dave <laughs> sent me. Guys, let me read this letter, and this is the last time I'll ever bring up this individual. But it's pretty fucking hilarious. I, I'm gonna read it. <clears throat> Wait, the last time you're gonna bring up Dave? Yeah, no, 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 no. It's done. <laughs> Fuck it. We're done. Okay. Dear Brad, this is DSP, the best gamer of all time, and only man in the world that is, oh, who is never course, wrong. Of course, he'd give, wrong. Of course he'd give his. Of course he'd give mail to okay. his favorite fanboy. <laughs> if you think I might be, then you should shut it and sit down and prepare to ask to get blocked. Always remember that I'm pressing buttons in your dreams. What? But seriously, I just wanted to wish you and your family a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Let's make this even more great YouTube content and amazing podcast in 2014. Thanks for being a great friend. Love, Dave and Macaulay. Dave, what the fuck? You all want to make out with me? <laughs> Am I the only person that got a letter like this? No, I no, don't. No, not the only one. Love. Okay. Uh, one, all right. Fuck it. I didn't uh, get any letters. I'm gonna go look for mine real I'll, quick. You I'll, guys keep I'll send you one, Zio. I'll send you one. <laughs> I'm trying to find mine, but well, thank you, Dave. It's it's definitely it's definitely the sweetest letter that I've gotten, other than the first like half of it. <laughs> <laughs> the first, but it was from DSP. Come on, man. Um, I'm just I'm just kidding, but I thank you. It, made, it definitely made my day when I got it. So I really cannot find it right now. I'm pissed. <laughs> I laughed at it because mine was hilarious, and I laughed at it. He's looking around his house. What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? I what the fuck's the going on? Fuck is going on? I cannot what find the it right fuck now. is going on? <laughs> oh, it, 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 sorry, I can't find it right now. What the right fuck now. is this? But I remember some of it, like, Dave called me a scrub at Street Fighter. Fuck you, by the God way. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's an awesome <laughs> Christmas letter. Um, <laughs> it's even better than mine. I'm trying to think what else he said. Um, Dave, you're such an ass. <laughs> oh, Jack Raven was in that letter too. Uh, some was... about, some about Wizard 101. Yeah. Oh yeah. He just basically said like, uh, "Fuck, I cannot find it. It's pissing me off. I'm pressing buttons." Okay. Um. <laughs> Um, no, seriously, um, I can't find it, but no, it was something about me, me and him should do Wizard 101 shenanigans like we did, and all that, but like I said, the biggest part of it was calling me a scrub, and fuck you, Dave, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I, I have it here, <clears throat> okay, it says, <clears throat> Dear Chris, what can I say here? You've been an amazing friend throughout the years, and I cannot thank you enough for that, it means so much, I love you like a brother, flex, 
Uh, I just wanted to wish you and your family a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Uh, we really do need to record some joke videos on Wizard 101 in 2014. I've always wanted to, but uh, I say this coming year is the right time to do it. P.S. You've never beat me in Street Fighter. Scrub. <laughs> <laughs> I've, uh, I've got mine. <laughs> that's, that's pretty fun. Yeah, that was mine. If you don't mind, I think I'm going to read this real quick. Um, yeah, go for it, dude. Scrub. Dear Tyler. Over the past few years, we've had a lot of awesome times. Remember the 2010 great fall of the internet? Or when the sloths took over Maine and Ontario at the same time? I know, it was crazy. I have a feeling that it won't be the last time we see them around. With that said, I wanted to wish you and your family a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thanks for being an amazing friend and being there for me at all times, all the right times. You're the best. From, and in parentheses, love, sexy times, baby making, etc. David. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Come on. Oh, my God. Uh, Those fucking sloths never No, I one. wish I got one. Uh, I'll send you one. Don't worry. I'll send you one. You just, uh... Make this a tradition, yeah. man. I'll, well, I'll, 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 send you, I'll send you my um, um, contact. Yeah, okay. address and everything like that. Yeah, because it's something I want to do every year. Yeah, that hey, was, don't uh, forget, put hashtag one's Marvel at the end. Oh, one's Marvel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, uh, Dave, you also... Mine. Hold on, Dave, you also forgot to put... Hashtag base god Dave, by the way. Oh yeah. <laughs> base god Dave. And then and then hashtag Mufasa go f- jump off a cliff. Oh whoa, whoa, whoa. that'd and be a card Mufasa for you. Mufasa hashtag I almost died. Yeah, <laughs> hashtag I almost died. Yep. <laughs> His entire card is just filled with hashtags. And then, and then you like and then you write in the at the end of the letter. P.S. The the hyenas in the background are laughing at you. Yeah. And you're still scrub at Street Fighter. Yeah, you just fuck hashtags. Yeah, Ibuki, uh, Ibuki sucks. <laughs> Take it. Shots Take fired! It. Ibuki is low tier. Yeah. <laughs> Ken for life, bitch. Oh my god. Uh, Richard, what have you been up to? Uh, what have I been up to? I've been playing lots of random games lately, just for fun. I've been playing Tomb Raider. That was pretty fun. Uh, what else? I've been playing Dead Island for the Xbox for some reason, but that's pretty enjoyable. I been got trying to speed run. Uh, what is it? Silent Hill 2. I think my fastest time right now is two minutes and twenty-eight. All right, two hours and twenty-eight minutes. That's like my fastest time of beating Silent Hill 2, which is pretty fun. And yeah, other than that, just been with family. Been working. And that's about it. He's another speedrunner in the making. Another speedrunner. Need oh. to talk need to talk to Corey. <laughs> Dave. Corey, I know. <laughs> Dave, you know the funny part is and I forgot I had this near my computer because I, uh, me and Mary were thinking about playing this again. I actually have this <laughs> near my computer. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Ten dollars for Wizard One. <laughs> and you could still use that? Yeah. I oh have Jesus. Been- uh, I can still use this. I have. I. I have, see. I haven't even scratched it off. I, oh it, my god! It, the, the, I'm funny. I just remember I had this in front of my computer because, like I said, me and Mary were gonna try to play this game at one point, and everything's been crazy, so I haven't had a chance. So I'm like, hey, look at! It. I could actually play the game if I wanted to. I wonder. I wonder if they'll ever IP ban me. Because that was the thing. They never. They never would IP ban me. They just ban my character and let me on my way. But I'd always come up to like people and go, "Hey there, little girl," and then they'd go, "Excuse me," and say, "You know what I said? You heard me." Hey there, little girl. You should and just be like, like, "You should just be like, you want to touch wands? You want to see trick?" Oh, uh, it'd be creepy stuff like that, and they never, they never, <laughs> I, they never IP ban me. I was always no. I remember the, the if the if it got, uh, if everyone wants to hear the story, the quick story, quick. You and Mike were went out, oh. and and uh, I guess you said a bunch of like, "Hey, baby, hi, girl," hey, and, and, and and Mike got banned. Not <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, yeah, because I remember that, because Mike got the uh, kicked off, and Dave's like, <laughs> Dave was dying laughing because he didn't get kicked off at all. It was all, it was that, all Mike. And Dave, that, does like, and Dave probably does like worse shit than freaking Mike does. Uh, no, Mike didn't do anything. Mike no, yeah. 
That reminds me of uh, getting kicked off of Twitch that one time. Remember, everybody else was uh, doing this one thing to this guy, and I said, you know, okay, he's being an asshole. Let's uh, let's report him. So everybody yeah. said the same thing in the report, and I was the one that got banned from it. No, I got banned. I thought. Oh, I... did you? Oh no, I no, got. No, 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 no. It was you because they thought I was you. Yeah, I got truly <laughs> banned on <laughs> four in our names. Because we had fused four in our names. I'm like, oh, same person. And it's funny Man. because the person who wouldn't work with me was that asshole horror. He was the one that was like, oh, I don't believe you. Well, he like, got his, didn't he? Yeah, was, yeah he got his years Shafted, later. Bitch. Asshole. Good piece of garbage. <laughs> You're just going off on him now. Come on, you motherfucker! You so bitch. That's that's pretty funny. But yeah, seems, I, I remember that too. Yeah, that seems funny. like a lot of people were playing Tomb Raider this holiday season. Not me. Uh, Hell yeah. yeah! Yeah, a lot of people were, and then it went on sale on Steam, and everybody I bought it this, then, and they I were got, playing it. I got this copy for fifteen dollars, and it's the limited edition. Is that the survival edition, or? Uh, I don't know what it's called. It says or just has this thing right here, right there. Uh. Okay. I don't know if this was like when you get it, like when you not. I don't think pre-order, but when you get it upon release, I guess they just had extra copies laying around in Future Shop. But I ended up buying it on Black Friday for fifteen, and it's a forty-dollar game, obviously. But I ended up. I see. Oh no. I I ended up getting this game extremely cheap, brand new, and I've been pretty happy with it. It's actually one of my favorite games of last year. So. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, um, it was. It was enjoyable. Was anyone on right. Steam when it crashed because of Borderlands 2? What? Was it Borderlands 2 or what game? What oh, yeah, it was, 120, it was like 150% off, and then like it was like oh, going $15. Uh, 100, 175 or yeah, what, was that was on Steam, right, yesterday? It was a graphical glitch. Yeah. yeah it was only that. 75% off. Yeah, I saw that from, uh, I think it was Christy on Twitter. She posted a picture of it or something. A or lot of people did too. Yeah, my my friend my friend Jintu posted that on uh, his Facebook, and I was I was looking, I was like, what the fuck? And it was like you get minus fifteen dollars back, so you technically. And then someone commented, um, so someone commented like a smart ass and be like, so if I bought this, do I get money back? Bitch, you owe me. <laughs> it was like I got Borderlands two for free and I got money back. Chick ching. I almost thought it was something like you know it was a graphical thing, but then. Maybe they were trying to give it away for free that one day to everybody, just to I don't know, give it away for free like they did for Left for Left for Dead Two that one day. I don't know. We're going like, to pay you. Well, it's not <laughs> the first time that's ever happened. Yeah. With Steam. Yeah, yeah I remember seeing that like last year or whatever. Like they did that with The Walking Dead. I think. I'm still pissed because at one point I wanted to get like I think the Sonic Collection. They had all the Sonic game for like. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, a really good price, and um, and I missed it because Steam was having more issues. I was like, Yeah, that happened to me. Ah! I was like, that, Fuck! I was gonna buy it. And then that I, happened to me when I tried to, cause Dungeon Defenders came out, and I wanted to uh, pre-order it. So the servers were down for a while, like for the Steam store, I couldn't buy it. So I just waited like two days after it came out, bought it, and I was still having issues buying the like. It's basically I bought the game, but I didn't have it in my library, and so I had to wait till like a, a week later. And they were like, "Oh well, here's your thing," and then you get a free PC DLC. I ended up getting I, I ended up obviously redeeming it, and I started playing the game. And I was just like, "I, I don't even know if I want to keep playing this game. This is uh, I don't know." But I ended up getting addicted to it, and then like. Few days, uh, like a few weeks later, the fucking nightmare DLC came out, and I had no money. I was like, "Well, fuck, man! Like, wh why do you have to release the DLC so damn quick after the game just came out?" More no, money, buddy. It makes it, it pisses me off. So it's I brilliant. Just, yeah, it's marketing. It's just I don't know what happened with it. I mean, I love the game. I just like I was having issues playing it. Uh, you would take time. all your money. So. All your wallets are So, so that that one little issue we we're talking about before the podcast is coming down right now. So I will be right back in uh, in a second. Okay. Oh, that. <laughs> yes. Oh. That. <laughs> yeah. Shit, man! I gotta drop a dude. <laughs> <laughs> 
I was gonna say keep it on the down low. I'll be right back. I, I yeah, keep it on the down person. low. He's prairie dogging it right now. <laughs> prairie dogging. <laughs> I bet you anything. He's like tonight we're baking brownies. If you smell what the Dave is cooking. <laughs> Open a window. Make sure to use the making sheets. Oh, what does the truck say? So, um, Rich, we were kind of talking about you. We kind of got drifted off. Maybe, did you have anything else you wanted to add? No, I think I was up, and we we're gonna say talk to Zio. I can't even Zio fucking was... remember anymore. This Yo, is what is Zio? Zio, come back. Zio dropped, and now Baby, he's come dead. Zio, oh, come back. Dun, dun, you can play the doll. The only thing I'm pissed off by, by the way. Is for, um I'm getting really pissed off um uh, with the whole conversation um I'm really pissed off at um Windows 8 right now. I I'm gonna have to deal with that pretty soon myself. So because, if you have any pointers when I get it, let because, me know. Okay, I somebody gift me for my birthday Mortal Kombat Complete Edition, and now I'm having so many problems with that damn game on Steam. I'm like blipping right now. Like I got the game to work, but. The game lags so bad. Yeah, yeah. Um, apparently, it's got something to do with compatibility issues, and their NetherRealm is not doing anything about it. So. So I just got a game, and now I basically have basically you got basically you kind of got a worthless game until they fix it for the time being. God yeah, damn. NetherRealm, they're pieces. Of... Oh, like you guys. It's it's not like. Honestly, I don't blame them, considering that it is kind of a console port to the PC. Yeah, but you should still have your stuff in check when it comes to games like that, but whatever. The other games do that, and they have their games perfectly fine, i.e. Tomb Raider, i.e. any other game except, like, a few choice games. Like, really. Can I, can I get my masculinity called into question for a second here? No. Yes. Fuck off. No, fuck just, you. It's just, God damn it. You know, you know, remember that one time, I don't, I don't know if everybody remembers, but Dave joked about a fucking sexy calendar for, like, the holiday seasons. God damn it, Dave. <laughs> looking, <laughs> I, oh, Dave, you're just in time. But looking at the likes, especially of fucking Rich and Brad here, Brad looking like a, like, this really young, oh. handsome boy band guy, and, uh, just Rich just being naturally fucking handsome. I think we could pull this fucking calendar thing off, guys. I think we could do this. <laughs> Summer calendar, to, and 2014. Chris, Chris will be wearing a Chris will be wearing a no shirt, of course. He'll, he'll be right in the front lines. Yellow G string. Oh, <laughs> oh. Borat Mankini. Oh yeah, look at that chest. Oh. Chris, You're you've like, gotten bold since we've last done this shit. Holy fuck! Uh, we had sudden, someone getting him to do the truffle shuffle. Right in the beginning, he's just right, fucking stripping for us. Right in the and beginning, Rich is horrified. Next... The next show, he just rips off his shirt and he starts going, "Yeah!" He's yeah! Like, you, mean like, you mean like those guys at like a party or whatever? They wear like a tuxedo and then they just like start dancing with the collars up and shit, like half naked. Yeah, yeah, I like. It. Yeah, it's fucking. This is yeah, difficult when you have like, headphones yeah, on. People like Mufasa that do that. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. Like I said, you start dancing the Iron, you start so, dancing the Iron Maiden. How was your download, uh, down low, Dave? It went down low, 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 low. Oh, low, low. <laughs> low, low. He, Dave, I'm going to have to kill you for that. I think he bombed Kingdom Come with a fucking... But, uh... Oh, shit. <laughs> The uh, the calendar, yeah, summer 2014, baby. Look out for it on the store. We're just spread oh, it together for one fucking day. We're going to end up fucking taking these pictures, and everybody's gonna think. Like... The sad thing is, I think more men would buy this than women. In in not, before... not because of sexuality preference. I think just because it's us. In in before, it's like the whole calendar is just pictures of me. And then we find out Dave just purchased a hundred copies Dave's from the like, <laughs> He's got his whole fucking back wall decorated with him. <laughs> January, February, March. I just yeah, I got a wall dedicated to everybody. Each each fucking month. Fucking January is gonna I've be me it. in the snow, but with no pants on or something. No pants. My fedora, baby. of course. No, all I'll be wearing is fedora and some boxes. No, no, no. You're gonna have your fedora like on your crotch. It's just gonna be like hanging in that. That oh, is fucking gold, Are we talking man. about... Oh, okay, okay, he's going to be Adam Sandler. Right now. Windows, man. <laughs> Tell us your name, Adam Sandler. Let's go. 
What the hell have I brought he, up in this? He gets the reference. He gets the reference. Fucking longest yard reference. High oh, five, Mufasa. The thing is, I just did remember you did bring that up a long time ago, Dave, and then I just thought about with Brad's new look and everything. I was like, we can pull yeah. this shit off. Yeah, man. <laughs> I also and if I actually to, shave, oh, we might actually have a chance. My, wanna... All I got was a haircut. Yeah. Look. Even Chris is looking. He's like, he's like, I can do this shit, man. So yeah. spiffy. Chris is just like, I got this. Chris is just I like, got this. let's go, man. Let's go. Yeah. Speaking I got, of, uh, I got, I got, I got my time. silent shirt ready. I'm ready to do this. Uh, <laughs> I gotta get a fuse four shirt, man. Dude. Hey, hey, good segue. I was just about to bring that up. Oh, you were. So, Jeez, so the, this, I'm reading your mind, yeah, man. Because I have it up on my second screen here, and I'm like, go, I was gonna do, do a. Go to so, it, man. Yeah, you know, speaking about the calendar, which you know won't if yeah, but <laughs> eventually <laughs> selling merchandise and guess stuff. Guess what? Guess what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you segue, guess what? We, Maria will buy it. So. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's do it. But yeah, we we do have a store online. It's over at fuse 4 network dot spreadshirt dot com. Other than myself that has bought stuff, I'm still waiting for it to come. I did check the email today. And one other person, somebody bought something. It, has, yeah. it wasn't me yet. I'm going to buy. No, one it was um somebody from New York. Uh, I'm not going to give out like the city, and it doesn't give out names or what they what they purchased. So somebody that, in New York bought it. Yeah, if 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 that's you, let us know. That'd be awesome. Oh, yeah, and, uh, we will we will fucking feature the hell out of you. Man. Yeah, you uh, can have more girl or girl, 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 girl boys. pictures of you up on the screen. Yeah, well, well, well no, no, that's just take a creep. picture. Take a picture with whatever <laughs> no, you. Want. No, if you do yeah. take a picture of yourself, we'll have like a fucking Facebook thing where everybody wearing our shirt will be on there. I actually, that's a similar thing. Uh, and a community that I, I interact with, they actually have a T-shirt they sell, and when people wear it and they send a picture, they'll be put up on a Facebook group wall. Yeah, that'd it, it, be cool. It's pretty cool. I like that idea. We if could you, do that. Like I said, um, I'm I still. By the way, still haven't We're got all, any. That means other we all designs. have to buy one, guys. Come on, yeah. let's get yeah, on. Yeah, I know. Shit. I'll I've buy been debating one. on what color I want. I, I'm well, I think black I'm or red. red. I'm gonna get classic black. I think to be yeah, honest. Yeah, I think I'm going with the black one. I, yeah. I usually yeah, wear then a lot it'll be different. Be right. Hello, how about Rich, we get the pink get one. black and then we'll be we'll be NWO. <laughs> no, Rich, Rich, get purple. Purple will be Rich. Purple will be really good on you. Pink one. Oh god. No, we all should get red so we could probably be a part of the wolf pack. I was actually thinking. Baby blue. Yeah, baby blue hey, works. We have, we're gonna yeah, put you in a body works. bag. I think we're more excited about our merchandise than anybody else. <laughs> yeah. We're bad people. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I'd rather just wear my suicide. By the way, we don't get any shit out of this. On, this is this is all good. By the way, still send me email, people. Come on, I've been uh, saying this for weeks. I've got some designs for you. That you what? Can put up Why did they send them to me? Because they're my designs. Yeah, <laughs> fuck you. Fine, then we'll talk later. Because <laughs> Dave, watch them. Watch them be like pictures of him doing the truck and shuffle. By the way, Dave. Oh, yeah. Is it safe to is it safe to bring up like uh, where it goes when people buy it? Or oh, have we? Did we choose? Yeah. Did we or, did we decide what we're doing with that no, yet? No, we haven't chose a uh, charity to send it to yet. But that's but the I, thing though. We're not going to be right. taking any of the profits for ourselves. We're going to be giving it away. Yeah. See you. Oh. <laughs> See you. All the uh, I, I think it's like five dollars we make off of each thing. But, um, that's, that's just a tiny thing. Right. Yeah, that money will go to charity. We just need to figure out which one we're going to send it to. I thought we were doing... And if, um, and if you guys have any good charities, then let us know and we'll check it out too. I thought, I thought at one point we did choose one, but I guess not. Well, we considered a few. Yeah. Yeah. So, Zia, what happened? Speaking of charities, AGDQ is coming up soon. Oh, yeah, that's... Uh, yeah. What happened was... Friggin' m m lately my internet has been real scrubby. Oh my god, it's, last it's night. It's just been dropping on me constantly. I don't have yeah. no idea why it's been doing that. Today I was supposed to get... Today um, people were supposed to come in and um, check, but I have no idea if they came or not because I was, I was asleep. Up until the podcast. See, started. I told you. I told you, Z I told you, Dave. I it doesn't matter what fucking day we another, do. Z is always kind of another the reason why I'm, I'm not. It's kind of another reason why I might miss out on these podcast if they're like Friday and 6 o'clock. We'll, we'll, we'll have to get used to it a bit, but we'll, by, we'll, we'll, we'll settle. By the way, why it it also kills me your doing, background... It also kills me doing Friday streams now. Are you in the void right now? Yeah, you look like you're in... Wait, you're like, in like, you almost job. look... I mean, like... It looks... It's so bright. It's even brighter than my wall. My, Who? my wall doesn't even cast a shadow. The Zio. Oh, look Zio. At, my look god, at, he, almost, he almost looks white. I was gonna say that. I thought I'd sound racist. 
<laughs> God damn it. Is that why you're wearing sunglasses? Because your room is too bright for you? Yeah, it, uh, must be this, it must be your Mac screen, right? Your Mac, your uh, your desktop, or, or is it your laptop? It might be. It's, it's very bright. Hard. It's very bright. It looks You've like... never been this bright before. Like I, like I said, his room is probably too bright for Are Matt's you in heaven? wearing the sunglasses. He's just like, oh, my eyes, my eyes, my eyes, my eyes, my eyes, he, he takes off the sunglasses and laser beams just shoot out like, oh! <laughs> what, what, what is he, fucking Cyclops? What are yeah. X-Men? Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, well, who, uh, who's going to be watching? Uh, is Asian? that out? Oh, what? Huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's good. Turn. What happened? He turned down his brightness a bit. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that's fine. It was honestly fine before. We were just yeah. noting how it was very bright. But, yes, uh... AGDQ, if you don't know what that is, speaking of charities and gaming and stuff like that, not being paid or we weren't asked to do anything like this, but, you know, it's good good gamers doing things uh, to gather money for a good cause. So if you don't know what AGDQ is, it is awesome games done quick. It's run by uh, the Speed Demo Archives community or the Speed Running community. It's speed, um, uh, speed, speed Runners Archives and Speed, uh, speed, speed Demo... Speed run live. Speed demos live and speed run, and speed runs live. Yeah, and uh, it's actually going on. It starts up on the fifth. Yeah, the fifth yeah. to the eleventh. the fifth and all the way through the eleventh. And then usually after the eleventh, they have like a after show stream that goes on for a couple days, um, which is pretty cool. And our friends from uh, Triple Speed Runners are actually going to be there, and uh, I think they're trying to play in the uh, the after show. I think they want to do some um, Mario Party. I don't know if they ever got confirmation on that, but it'd be really cool if they did and if they're going to do it. But what they do is they gather uh, donations from the community and it goes directly to the Prevent Cancer Foundation, which uh, I'll just read the little thing here that they have. Prevents, uh, Prevent Cancer Foundation is a nonprofit organization that saves lives through cancer research, education, and community outreach. 100% of your donations go towards supporting Prevent Cancer Foundation in its mission. So it's pretty cool. You can head over to, I think it's twitch.tv slash speed demos archive. Is you can that... actually head over to their site, and that's where they have the donate button and all the instructions that you need. Yeah. Don- yes, yeah. so you can go to uh, speeddemoarchive.com, and everything is up right at the top there, a banner that you can click on, and it uh, gives you all the information that you'll need. It's pretty cool, though. I'm looking forward to it. I look forward to... Uh, when was the first one? The first one I watched was actually last year. I watched... Uh, yeah. Uh, I, Did you do Summer Games Done Quick or Awesome Games Done Quick? I watched AG, 80, 80, bleh, Awesome Games Done Quick and Summer Games Done Quick. Yeah, so those were my first two that I actually watched, and it was pretty cool. I thought it was uh, entertaining. And, I, I, you know, you, you go back to the years previous that they had done it with, like, the big black background and everything like that and these two little windows, and they've upgraded quite a bit from that with custom yeah, backgrounds. Yeah, they got templates and, now and stuff like that. Yeah, so it's a lot more visually appealing to it's the, uh, to the viewer. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice, though. It's a cool thing to do over there. Uh, but yeah, we have to figure out where our money is going to go for uh, store sales for charity. So we have to figure that out. But we'll figure that out after. And uh, I've always wanted to uh, get into AGDQ. I've been I've been really getting into speed running lately. You and Rich, there you go. It's happening. I've been uh, I've been ready, I've been trying to run Super Mario 3D World it's, ever since I got to play that game. It, it, it's just it's been so much fun. I love it. it's a fun game to speed run too. Yeah. <laughs> For, uh, I've been doing... <laughs> whenever I sometime whenever I sometime. Bring my streams back. I'll definitely do speed speed runs live. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, my horrible attempts. <laughs> Rich, are you gonna record like some of your best attempts at uh, Silent well, Hill Two? I, I recorded one, and it was like two two hours and twenty nine minutes. What did yeah. you? So I know I can do better. What did I know you? I can do better. Silent Hill Two. Oh, cool. Yeah. And that's like me trying to skip all the cutscenes and go, and then I got lost, and I know I can do better, so I don't want to post that one. So, uh, <laughs> speaking speaking of first attempts, basically, I, I have a new series that I'm going to work on very soon. Basically, it's 
me like playing a game for the first time and I'm commentating and it's just like it's kind of like me just random being like a random idiot in that so I'll just like be like I don't know I'll, uh, it's basically Moogle's adventures with and then dot 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 and then like that will I'll put the name, the title of the game on there or whatever, but basically it's just me having my first-hand experience on a game, and I'm just going to be like, okay, we're playing this video game, and all of a sudden I'll cut the video and be like, oh, my God, oh, stop. You know, just... So is it an over-exaggerated version of yourself? Um, I wouldn't say over-exaggerated. I would, it's basically like kind of... Uh, it, kind of like what uh, Michael, or, a.k.a. Um, or, well, I think this is just called, or, uh, he's just called Michael and Rooster Teeth, kind of like what he does with Rage Quit. But it's not like I'm getting pissed off at the game. I'm just playing a game, and then, like, something happens and, like, and whatever, and I'm just going to commentate about it, kind of like uh, first impressions type of thing. And uh, pro- pretty much, in a way, exaggerate, but, like, for entertainment pers- purposes. So, Yeah. Uh, it's it's gonna be interesting how it comes out. Yeah, let us know when that's going up. Um, I already did one for Shadow of the Colossus. Oh, well, son of a beanstalk! All right. So, <laughs> uh, I I just gotta get around to editing it. But basically, uh, I, after streaming it, I kind of wanted to do it. I, I kind of wanted to do one on that. So, uh, we'll see how it goes. So, once it does come out, I'll let you guys know. I just remembered the word that I wanted to use for uh, when I said I had to take a bowel movement. Um, I wanted to. You I wanted to, to take a shit? No, no. I, 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 <laughs> I wanted Mr. to, Mister. I gotta make a dookie. I wanted to use the word make. I, I have to. I have to make and then go. But I couldn't think of a very simple word that is probably dookie. almost every day, or maybe not every day. Maybe every day. I don't know. Something. Yeah, I don't know. You have, you have to drop a load. A load? Well, I think that I wouldn't say that because a load. <laughs> I'm not even going to go there. Not, no, no. You got to go lose some weight. Steady mind, steady mind. <laughs> you got to go lose some Lose some pounds. But you got to go drop off the kids. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what I call a wine load. Oh, God. Oh, God, Brad. <laughs> We're just gonna keep making poop jokes. <laughs> what? Yeah, this is 2014, what where poop jokes are now still funny. <laughs> <laughs> Toilet humor, everybody. And so Dave just left. No, Dave I'm still here. Body trained. So I, I wanted to ask you guys, you know, just off the top of your head, and I know it's hard for everybody, but since it's we off, are it's off in, the top of my head, see? Yeah. So. You know, without being a, an asshole like Brad, I mean, <laughs> what would you guys think or call, say, what would you give your Game of the Year award to? What game that came out in 2013? Oh, okay. This is gonna, everyone's <laughs> got to go through theirs. Oh, God. I'm, I'm going last. It's going to take me a second. Brad, go. I, I, already, I already know. Okay, I'm done. Now my hair is all messy. Brad must make... Wait, hold on. I'll be right back. God what the damn fuck? It. <laughs> damn it. Did Tyler die too? Oh, Tyler's there. No, I he, like Bioshock Infinite. He BRB'd. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, Bioshock, I, I want to finish it. It is a great game, but I just haven't got around to it. <laughs> Find some time. Ah, oh, that's not, oh, it's not easy. It's not easy, oh, but, uh, no. uh, yeah, god damn it. I have to look. I don't want to open Steam because then shit starts downloading probably right away. No. Uh, maybe if I just look through quickly. Uh, okay, review games. Far Cry 3 was awesome. Was that 20? No, that was 2012. Yeah, that was 2012. That was great. Guys, I can't pick. What? I know you can't. Just pick one. It doesn't have to stay. Yeah, this is life or death, Brad. I mean, if you you pick the wrong one. Just one. If you you pick two, you get ejected. You're going to die, yeah. I don't know how much one. I love all these games. Uh, Yeah, I I had the same problem, but I know my pick. Well, I don't know. I I actually really like Nino Kuni a lot, and uh, I really love Bioshock Infinite. And uh, I'm going to be honest here, it's neither of these games. It's Tomb Raider. 
So, I mean, I as much as I as much as I love Bioshock Infinite, this is the only game. Well, actually, I've beaten both these games. Although there are there are RPGs, I I just really like this game a lot, and I definitely think it's game of the year. Um, but for my own personal reasons, not for everyone else's reason. It's just that it's well, a very clever. That should, be, that should always be why you pick game of the year. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very, it's a very clever, like it's a very clever, brilliantly written game, and I just really enjoy playing through it. It's it's a fun game to sit through, and I can play it again and still love it for what it is. Um, my first hand experience playing this game, it it was very enjoyable. I died a lot. I'm really bad at it, but. I mean, it's still fun as hell, and I still sat through it, and it was it was really fun. I actually might go back and 100% this game. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Shadezy, Shadezy, damn! All right, I'll be right back. So, uh, I'm gonna say uh, I I don't really have one because I wish I could. Uh... We just finished telling Brad he could only have one. But he's oh, gone. Really? Oh, well, that, that's <laughs> that's gone. Just get it out. <laughs> visu- yeah, virtually impossible for me. I, you know, I wish, uh, wish I could just play all the games in one day. But I, I was, I'll say, not. I, I like. I really enjoyed Tomb Raider. I really enjoyed uh, Rayman Legends. I enjoyed the Stanley Parable. Um, I enjoyed Outlast. Uh, man, oh my oh, God. Congrats. Just yeah, the, all those games came out this year, and I just—I w- I wish The Wolf like Among them. Us had more episodes. Uh, I—I'd I'd pick, I'd pick um, if it was just The Wolf Among Us versus uh, season two of The Walking Dead. It would be The Walking Dead. Uh, I feel like that was a much stronger episode, first episode to a season. But uh, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna go with. Just those games. Like I really enjoyed those games this year. Uh, but I wish I could have played more of like Splinter Cell Blacklist and uh, <clears throat> uh, Need for Speed Rivals. Um, I, I know I'm <laughs> a game I'm not gonna go back to because it bored the sh- ever living shit out of me. Was uh, Lost Planet Three, unfortunately. <laughs> Yeah, I, I never liked Lost Planet Two, so how Lost Planet Three was gonna be played out, I. I don't know. I just didn't think it was a good idea, to be honest. Because Lost Planet Two sucked for me, and but I think I think maybe later on it could get a little bit better. But like in the first like hour that I played, or hour and a half, it was just like fetch quests, and I was like, "Oh, fucking do this! Go to this area, kill a couple guys, come back to base. Go to this area, retrieve this, I bet you turn a couple haven't things." Finish the prologue yet? In a, in another, and, but that's a problem when you're an hour and a half in. That should not you be. Haven't finished that shouldn't yeah. happen. And uh, another I game I really wanted to play this year, but I never had the money for, it, was Metal Gear Rising. So, oh yeah, I'm getting a lot about that game. I'm getting that on the the ninth for. Ever, ever since watching Maximilian's playthrough of it and him like talking about how good of a game it is, I kind of wanted to play because it, it just looked like an interesting game. So, um, thing might give that a whirl. And I think there's another RPG that came out, uh, Dragon's Dogma. I think did that come out 2012 or 2000? That was 12. Does it? Okay, yeah, because well, I have it and I still need to play it. Yeah, that's another. That's an RPG that I need to play. And there's another RPG that came out this year, but I still haven't played yet, and that's Dragon's Crown. Like, I've played it with a friend, and I liked it, but I really wanted to play by myself and kind of enjoy it myself. And uh, from what I've played, it was a really addicting game, and it was fun as fuck. So um, I'm definitely going to give that a whirl. Um, and I made my, I named my character, my Amazon... Fucking snoo snoo because I it, it was a Futurama reference because it looked like fucking some some like the Amazon looked exactly like something out of fucking Futurama so I named it that and every, every time I look back at that that's what I think of I I thought it was pretty fucking funny um but yeah I d- definitely need to give Dragon's Crown though a whirl that's pretty much it those are really the only games that I really want just before moving on we did miss. Zio and what he's been up to because he dropped. So let's go back to that. What have you been up to, Zio? Uh, <laughs> well, um, uh, I, I want to say I've been up to a lot, but I haven't been up, I'm very active on my channel. <laughs> I, I, I plan to come back Zio, and full force. Like after after the what's podcast today. What's active on channel, by the way? By the way, what's active on channel? I've been slacking too, but go ahead, finish what you were saying. 
Ignoring Mufasa, going back to what I was <laughs> After the podcast, I plan on rec- uh, doing some recording because uh, uh, I'm going to try and get back into the swing of things with this crappy computer I got until I can... I was pretty much just playing games and getting ready for the next semester of, of uh, school, which is like on the 13th for me. I've been playing tons and tons of games. I've been actually getting into speedrunning, like I said but earlier, and I've been speaking um, Super Mario 3D World, as well as uh, playing some new games like Dark Souls and uh, Pokemon X and Y. Still, I'm playing that, and uh, I've been playing uh, Batman Ar- um, Arkham City Armored Edition. I just recently got that, and I was been playing that. But from uh, it looks it is looking really good too. But it looks pretty much all of the same thing. I don't like I, I, spoilers here. <laughs> it's the big bad is Joker. I feel like that's a cop out. The what? Sorry. Honestly, for well, Arkham what, Origins. What do you expect though? Like as as a main villain, like not everyone really was. Well, gonna... I mean, in the animated series, in, especially in the animated series, actually, um, a lot of villains were either their own, and it wasn't just Joker. I mean, well, if you look at villains like, like Ray yeah. Shagul and stuff like that. Oh, uh, Chris just who, and well, Mufasa died this time. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, well, Mufasa died. Fuck him. <laughs> I, 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 I think he actually dropped. I think he actually dropped off the cliff this time. Scar oh, pushed him off. I pushed him. I, I did want to ask. You brought up uh, Pokemon X and Y. What are you guys talking about in the chat? Uh, like in on Skype? Are you guys trading Pokemon? Is that the yeah, deal? We, yeah, we were trading Pokemon. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know. I was like. Some trader or some shop or something, and I keep reading. Yeah, we were we were we were la- naming Pokemon we had and and trading them. I'm trying to f- complete the Pokedex right now. With so all nine million seven hundred thousand. <laughs> all seven hundred seventeen. You made it up the cliff. God damn it. Seven hundred seventeen of them. There's so many fucking little creatures and big creatures and creatures. And I heard that, Brad. Shut up. I did not jump off the cliff. God damn it. I didn't say jump off the cliff. Star pushed you off, and then you climbed up. Yeah, you're funny. I was trying to fix something, and then, like, oh, I'm going to crash on you. Woo! So, but uh, other than that, uh, that's pretty much all I've been up to. Uh, for my game of the year, um, it ha- it's it's honestly really tough for me to pick one one game because uh between oh good between, I'm not um, the only one X and Y and uh, uh Dark, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon and um Super Mario 3D World I've been just playing the crap out of those but I probably would have to go with Mario Luigi Dream Team that game is amazing it is the best Mario RPG I've ever played so we go with that. Just uh, because it was asked in our private chat here, the the <laughs> there are the, all the email questions. Literally every single one was, "What's your game of the year? What's your game of the year? What are you guys' game of the year?" So this is also the email question segment. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> God, yeah. Damn it. I, 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 I forgot that I have to give you like a a, a, a transition thing. Like, there was there was no there was no other questions other than what's your guys' game of the year? What do you think your game of the year is? Well, that's my game of the year. My, my game, game of the year. year. My game of the year is Running Wild for the PlayStation. <laughs> Is it bad? Oh, sorry. I'm, Fuck yeah. Guys, is it bad? I am going to have a hard time for a game of the year because I ha- I didn't buy many games last year because broke. And he's just making it rain with bro, all that money. That's bro, what he's doing. Bro, no, bro. I'm trying to save my money and I didn't really buy too many games last year. No. <laughs> I only bought maybe one or two, well, older games. I bought older games, but like I only bought like Five games uh, last year that were uh, 2013 games, so it's just like I don't know what to put out there. Okay, I, still... guys, I actually have my real game of the year here. It's well, Prime just, Rage. Just, for the it, just put it out. You played. Brad, stop. You don't need to put out there anything <laughs> you haven't played yet. Even if you Jesus like it, Brad. just put out there what you played. Like the only thing I've really played that I enjoyed was. WWE 2K14, but it's like, you know, I would say The Last actually. of Us, but I don't have a PS3, so I can't say it. <laughs> By the way, 
uh, I'm just putting this out there. I'm still pissed because I know I don't have a uh, P I don't I don't physically own a PS3. But my brother does. That they moved the date for uh, Final Fantasy X and X. Yeah, they moved it back to I think March. March. Yeah. March. I'm like, you know what? That that's might be a good God, thing. Oh God, two more let, months. Let What's, what's funny is that's a, month fix after, the game. That's, a, that's a month after Tales of Symphonia Chronicle. No, it's already, it's already out in Japan, so... Yeah, the, it's a month after fucking Tales of Symphonia Chronicle. We're just going to make sure that the uh, translation is perfect. Oh, yeah, because they already did yeah, it once. Because so, so, like, the game totally needs a better translation from what it has on the fucking PS2. Well, sometimes they do, to be honest. What did you guys think of uh, DuckTales Remastered? Oh, I, I, I actually played I, the first few levels of it, and I liked it. My, it okay. looks amazing. Okay, sorry to overtalk, but Zeo gifted me that, and I played it for a good, like, ten minutes, and actually it was pretty fun. Yeah. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I think it was a good, like, yeah. remastered version. And I think WayForward has been the best with doing remastered versions of anything. Yeah. Yeah, but Dave. They did they also did Contra Four, like so they were remastering the series of Contra back into its roots, and it was I hear Contra Four is really good. It's hard as hard as the NES titles. And Dave, what happened to your playthrough of it? Weren't you supposed to put up an LP of it? Yeah, it's it's not that good. So <laughs> the commentary is pretty bad. So I I just they redo uh, it, Dave. Come on. Yeah, but then it's just, I I don't know. Yeah, I'll think about it. Maybe I have a guest comment on it. Yeah. <laughs> I like I like how um Way Forward. Way Forward just uh they're they're doing a another remake that they just got funded through Kickstarter. I forget the name yeah. of it. Uh, of, the, of, of their first individual title, Shantae. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. it. I actually bought that on um they also I actually bought that on 3DS virtual console. It's actually a lot of fun, but it's difficult. It's very difficult. Didn't they, didn't they do a uh, Mickey Mouse game too, Castle Illusion? Mm -hmm. uh, they probably did, and I have. That's I another know. one I've played. I'm not sure if they did the new Castle of Illusion. I know Grant Kirkhope well, did the music. Well, there's, there's, a, there's a Castle of Illusion out, and I actually was kind of I know. playing that because they like of the original. original, 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 original. I don't know if they're the one that's. I don't know if they're the ones that did it. Do you want me to look it up? I can do that. Yeah, go ahead. Studio Australia. Yeah. Uh -huh. What I really want to see is um, Chrome. Make a make a, a console release of the new tie game that came out. I I I am so I'm so upset that it's only a Windows 8 game. I wanted a, a digital release for consoles or at least Steam. Maybe at some point, right? It, it, with games, it, it's so hard to say never now, unless the developer it specifically comes out and says, "No, oh, you're never gonna fucking no. see it." Yeah. Like, <laughs> But if they say, yeah, oh, you know, you never know, then you, you absolutely know it's going to be moved to other platforms and so on and so forth. But, uh, it's a big word eventually. Yeah. Tyler, what's your uh, game of the year? Oh, Jesus. Um, I, that's really tough. I, I, like, when I think of uh, game of the year, I think of the games that gave me the most enjoyment. But honestly, I haven't had too many thrills in games this year. Or last year, technically, um, I guess. Well, WWE 2K14 was good. Like, don't get me wrong. It just, but it just felt like a glorified WWE 13. Like, and that's not a bad thing. But I've already experienced it, so it's not the same. Yeah, you paid sixty dollars already for that game. I know, uh, but like, um, it's like with Street Fighter, Dream Team is a close one. Like, I'll agree with you on that too. It's definitely an amazing game. Um, honestly. Uh, I might have to go with that one. I got a lot of fun out of that one. I really did. Yeah, I, I, the thing about Dream Team is that it, it surprised me with its length. Most of the Mario Luigi games, aside oh, from sure. like maybe Partners in Time, are really short. But Dream Team just kept going, and I, it never going, got boring going, either. Going. I was surprised, and it's a legitimately funny ass game too. Yeah, it's, yeah I, a lot of humor. I think Alpha Dream at their best with this game. What about uh, the new Zelda? Anybody play that? No. Oh yeah, that's I, really good. I have actually, and it's really I, good. 
I can safely say that it's probably one of the best handheld Zeldas, in my opinion. Yeah, I can't. It reading. probably is the best handheld Zelda, honestly. I mean, I mean, um. Well, I, I loved coming from a guy that actually loves Minish Cat. <laughs> oh, I, I, I'm thank you, thank you, Fred. Thank What's that? I love Minish Cap, and I don't know yeah, why it's got it like, a, good one. I'm glad, a I'm reputation glad I'm right for being page. too easy, so it's not yeah, that good. It, Minish Cap felt way too fucking easy, but... Um, it brought back that old feeling of those older, yeah, definitely. Those older games. Uh, I liked Oracle of Seasons, Oracle of Ages, um, but if I would have to say that out of all the handheld games that have come out, fuck Phantom Hourglass, fuck Spirit Tracks, I don't give two shits about those games, I don't care if you guys like those games or not, but I hated the fucking control. I never them. played them, so I have no never opinion, them. but which I've heard, but they, ruined, they do have really bad reputations. Which, which completely ruined the gameplay for me. I played Phantom Hourglass, got through the first dungeon, and then I stopped playing it because I thought it got boring, because it was ridiculously repetitive, the controls felt just I enjoyed it. they were ridiculous, I could not play the game any longer after that. But, like, anyway, uh, I'm, I'm going to stop ranting. Link Between Worlds is a fantastic game, and if you don't have the game yet, I would suggest fucking getting it. If you okay. have I, got, I got two things here. One, what you got? One, Brad, with me. Ready? Wait, what are we saying? <laughs> He's making you breathe, you fucking <laughs> rat maniac. <laughs> <laughs> and two... Okay, okay, okay. okay. And, 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 two, and two, I'm, I've, I really do want to play the Zelda, uh, the new one, uh, and the two things that I'm reading about it is that either A, it's the best handheld that they've made Zelda game, or B, it's the best Zelda game that they've ever created. I don't know. Uh, Maybe. I can't really well, say that it's the best Zelda game ever created, but I can say it probably might be the best top-down Zelda. It's definitely, yeah, it's definitely a, like one of the better isometric kind of Zeldas. Is it better than Link to the Past? It it, it take it's pretty uh, much Link to the Past I, I, on like, on like. It, uh, but supercharged. It's, it it, would, it, 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 it takes that game and it doubles the fun. Yeah, I like, so it's Link I, I to the Past, but longer. Link to the Past, but Link to the Past had that kind of thing that Link I... Link to all the other times. So. <laughs> Link to every time. <laughs> yeah, I, I really like Link to the Past. Link Between Worlds is definitely a great experience, so I'd, I'd definitely give it a whirl. The boss fights are fucking great, too. They're very... What, I, I hear one of the best things about the game is that you get pretty much every major item immediately, so That's you can do of, any yeah. dungeon you want at any order you want, and it's completely not, not, not non-linear. That's definitely not a, a normal staple with games like that, to just be able to do whatever you want at the beginning. Well, you have to rent them, though. That's like You, don't you do have to rent them, but getting rupees is really easy in that game. Yeah. Hit a bush, there you go, rupee. Do they, uh, do they bring back old... Uh, link to the past enemies in that game, like yes. uh, bosses. It's yeah, pretty much. Uh, pretty much. Uh, there was, there was link actually to the past uh, HD with, with new stuff added to it. Yeah, there, there so was link to the past with an add-on. There's a turtle rock reference in Link Between Worlds. Actually, if anyone's ever gotten that far in Link to the Past, they know what turtle rock is. It's infamous for its ridiculous platforms and uh, its really fucking annoying boss. And there was a. I'm not going to spoil it, but there's a reference from that in Link Between Worlds, and it's definitely a breath of fresh air, and it definitely is nostalgic looking and at the, it. The game is that it might be too short or easy because you've got access to so much, so all of the everything and the and the puzzles while uh, really um, while really uh, simple and uh, they get do they do get a lot more complicated are like. Pretty uh, are still pretty easy to get. It's pretty pe easy to run through the game, from what I hear. A jam, but I don't oh. think that's a bad. Thing. Wham jam, peanut butter and jam. I I don't know. Uh, it's one of the uh, definitely one of the handheld games I actually want to play once. Uh, oh, this, God, I, I don't think I'll ever get a 3DS or anything like that. But maybe like borrowing something from someone someday. Well, 3DS get a 2DS. Is now, oh, yeah, Jesus Christ, I keep forgetting about that. Yeah, that's when what I... I buy something when you don't have time to play it. 3DSs are pretty no. cheap now, and if you're going traveling, I mean, it gives you something to do, right? Oh, I just got a 2DS because the 3D shit I hate. 
I hate that stuff. Oh, yeah, I, I, I don't watch TBS, but... Yeah, I don't like the movies. I don't like Excuse any of that stuff. Excuse me as I drop my head over still not having a 3DS. No, no you, you have that cardboard. You asked for it for Christmas. Oh, God damn it, you all suck. <laughs> you have that cardboard 3DS. Why didn't you, Why didn't you ask on for one for your birthday, numb nuts? Ask it for it. Well, they don't have the money right now. No one Wait, it was Christmas. How the fuck do you still not get a 3DS? Why didn't you go and believe in Santa Claus? I got gift cards. I got gift cards. I, I didn't get why much. Did you, why didn't you save your gift cards and buy a 3DS with it? Uh, cause I need. I'm gonna get. A, I'm. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. I'm still. I may do it. I don't know. I have a few things I need to get. What so about your we'll birthday? See. Did you get any birthday money? Nope. Oh, I, no, actually I did. I got w one thing, but no one else has sent me. But I might have to wait still for that. Guys, you gotta understand, with that money last night, he went to the club and he made it fucking rain. I no. tell you. I'm not even kidding. He just went boom, boom, boom. And I didn't even remember yeah, it was a shirt. You know, he remembered it was just one bill, and then he went, oh, shit. And he <laughs> tried to grab it. He's like, oh, it's only one. I dropped the him. Beat him up. He just, it just flew away, and he's like chasing after it. Guys, remember... <laughs> My birthday is right after Christmas and New Year's. No one has money after that. Zio, you should have sent him your shirt so he could just brush bills off it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the it's most money I've ever right had. Now. It's a one dollar bill. It's oh. a jacket. It only works. <laughs> imagine, if he, imagine if he burned that shirt too, and it just explodes into bills like boom! Oh shit! Everybody get down! Wait, Dave, 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 you have Killer Instinct, right? You know. Yeah, the sure. Work. Yeah, you know when you know in the orchid stage when you actually punch orchid, money like flies out. Yeah, you notice that. Yeah, no, actually, I, I, it's not like a, something I looked at and I was like actively going, "Oh, hey." But oh, yeah, once oh, somebody wait, told hey, it to me. Okay, okay. Speaking of Killer Instinct, you know Mick Gordon, right? The guy who did the um, music. I, yeah, you were talking to him on yeah. Twitter. Yeah, basically, uh, when you saw that, and he actually replied to me on Twitter. He's actually a super nice guy, and he actually he didn't take credit. Because he actually had people help him with the Saber Wolf theme. Like, well, a lot of the orchestra orchestrated crap is actually not actually him. He's the composer. But Pete, Pete White, uh, Whitfield, uh, I actually recognize the name. He's a violinist. He's the, He actually did the violin stuff in the Saber Wolf theme. And I was like, holy shit, this guy's amazing. I recognize his name, and I actually looked and listened to all his pieces. He's actually probably one of the best violinists. I've ever heard, and Mick Gordon did a great job composing the music and mishmashing everything and making it sound like you know the character, like what the characters actually would kind of resemble in a way. And I really like Sabrewell's ambient kind of like theme, and just everyone else has their themes where it just fits them, it fits the level, and it just oh, it's amazing. And the best part is the throwback themes they have secretly in the video or in the in the music. Yeah. Basically, if you if you're AFK for a while. You can you can hear like a remix. Say you're on um, say you're on several state stage. You actually hear Tooth and Claw, like if you actually listen to it long enough, and you actually hear um, uh, Orchid's old song, like the first song. You know, um, she's got the feeling. You actually <laughs> you, you actually hear that song in the background remix. Yeah, that, that's that's another thing that makes a good a good. Uh, Fighting game that much better is great uh, character uh, character music like character based music. Yeah, well, just I don't know something about Saber Wolf Steam uh, really just made me fall in love with the game and the character in general. Just I love that Miles Steam. Sorry, go on. <laughs> what, what were you saying? That's all I wanted to say was Guile's theme. God damn it! Well, Saber Wolf Steam is just the most amazing thing I've ever heard, and it's just like. Mick Gordon did an amazing job with that, and Pete uh, Whitfield just did an excellent job with the violin. And, like, credit goes to both of them. I mean, I, I'm really happy to see that Mick Gordon actually replies to people, and he actually, like, appreciates his fans. God damn it, all I hear is... Z, what the fuck? I'm done. Another game I, uh, I still... God damn. You're an it's asshole. <laughs> Shut up. Another game I want to... Uh, I'm singing Kyle's theme right now. I don't before, care if it feels right. But I'm singing Kyle's <laughs> Can you imagine? This video has been taken down for copyright. <laughs> <laughs> Before Attack on Titan. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, uh... Oh, oh, he muted him. I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> Dang it. It was a delayed reaction. Oh. <laughs> I haven't, uh... And before you break out the Attack on Titan theme, just randomly. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't even... I don't even know how it goes, Ali. Oh, Amy Four copyrights. We're, we're gonna shut down. Content ID strike. Good night, everybody. <laughs> <Okay>. yep, yeah. <laughs> you'll never see this. You might hear it. Well, you'll hear it definitely. You'll never see it. <laughs> um, but yeah, anybody play State of Decay? That was a zombie game. I'm looking at it, but I haven't. I haven't tried it yet. Yeah, I really want to just fire that baby up. Like it looks really cool. I heard it had a lot of problems at launch. But then that was the 360 version, not the uh, PC yeah. one. So I'm, I'm, no, I, I had a few friends who were playing the 360 version. And they said that it was pretty sweet. Yeah, it was a fun game to play. What's the game oh. called? State, State of, of Decay. Decay. Oh, State. of... I've been hearing a lot about that game, and I actually am kind of interested. First yeah. time I've heard about it. What kind of is it? What kind of game is it? Open world oh, zombie survival. Yeah, RPG elements. I think maybe. Hey, what is it like? Zombie U. God damn it! Um, not exactly. It's a third Dead person. Rising minus you can... the time limit. Yeah, it's like a little bit of Dead Rising, a little bit of just uh, Daisy, but not really to the extreme. Um, like uh, Dead Island. Yeah, isn't it just uh, single player? Yeah, it's just single player, uh, third person view. Yeah, but it's it looks really interesting. I didn't hear like... a whole lot of fetch quests because that's all I could think about what you would oh. do. Oh, oh really? Zombie. I, well, I would imagine you would. Yeah. Could you go get me gas here? We need to get away with the car here. And oh, the car broke down here. We need to go get more gas, probably. I would imagine. Okay, just fill up the dead body with gas. We'll fill up the car here. Just drive the body. <laughs> Human gas tank. What are what are we playing? Left for Dead. Gotta yeah. fill the freaking car up with gas. Get the seven tanks of gas. It Gotta escape out of the mall. Another one I wanted to play more of was uh, Payday 2. I've only uh, put that, a little that bit one of that. Got, caught my interest. I just didn't really care about it. Yeah, it was more I heard like, it was good. I just like, yeah, it was one of those ones like if you like the first one, you probably automatically picked up the second one. But if you never picked up the first one, it was like well, you wouldn't pick it up if you weren't playing with friends or other people online. Yeah. That that's the whole deal with it. But it did pretty well. Like, like if you didn't buy a bundle and, and like give it to a few of your friends and yeah. play it, then you probably wouldn't have bought it. If I bought the game, I really wouldn't have many people to play it with other than Kim. And I know Kim likes the game a lot, so I mean. Yeah, I've got it too. But uh, yeah, it's just yeah, I don't know. I I don't know. I played it a little bit, and I, I just need to get back into it because after a while, you just kind of go, well, I don't know. <laughs> That's a great yeah. review of the game. You get into it, and then you go, I don't know, whatever. Meh. And then you be like, oh, I'm pressing buttons. Oh, what? Why'd I die? It's ah. eight hours. Bugged. What? Oh, the game is bugged. <laughs> Why pressing I buttons. Die? I was pressing buttons. So oh. did you guys hear about uh, the Fallout 1, 2, and Tactics being pulled from GOG yeah. and from Steam? Oh, yeah. Your, Actually, speaking of it's, it's speaking games because... getting pulled, uh, there's two other games. The Marvel vs. Capcom franchise got pulled off PSN oh. and Xbox 360, and Skullgirls is getting pulled off Xbox 360 and PS3 because Konami are a bunch of cutbags. So, yeah. Ooh. One up me. Yeah. One up me. <laughs> but yeah, oh, the... one up him with fucking more stories. Yeah, the 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 whole Fallout thing is because they finally took over the franchise Bethesda is. They took over the IP on the first. So I think what they're going to want to do is take down the games, put up their own version where it says Bethesda on it, you know, yeah. when you open up the game. And then they already said they're going to first put it back up on Steam and then other, other digital platforms. So... You know, after that, it'll be what like GOG. What if you already own the game? Again. That's the question. Because Bethesda's pretty scared of, like, DMRs, right? Or DRMs yeah. or whatever it's called. That's true. 
But it's it's good no, because no, no. you know if you got it free, then that week, then you can still yeah, download the, it. Yeah, that that's a up. big like fuck you to them pretty much, yeah, right? I think that's why they did it. They were like, oh yeah, you're not gonna get. It was like back table. They're like, oh well, we're, you're not yeah, gonna they get just it flip the table on them. They're like, yeah, okay, well we're gonna give it out to everybody for free and then make a big yeah. post about I, it. I actually you can get got it for those week. games and I still haven't played them yet, but I kind of am interested in wanting to play them. Yeah. Yeah, uh, don't worry if the people who have bought it before, they can still download it and still... Yeah, I know, I'm, I'm just saying, like, what if people already bought it and then they just... I don't know, it's just... Well, whatever, like, they, that was, that's, already... like TF, that's like TF2 to me. I fucking bought the game and then they were like, here, everybody, you can have it for free! <laughs> yeah. Take the game! Which game are you talking about? Oh, I was just saying Team Fortress 2 there. I, I You, know, you if mean they... at Fortress 2? Yeah, if they do stuff like that, I think it should be an obligation to the company. They should give everybody that paid for it at least something free, something exclusive, something oh, that you don't have to get. What? Like, yeah, like they I don't did care. Give him a hat. Or a sticker. Oh, did they give him a new hat? It yeah. was just like this fucking round. Uh, it was this round basic one. Oh really? Oh, I didn't pay attention. It, okay. It wasn't well, a cool looking one. It was it was just a basic one. It's like this is for people who bought the premium. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Yeah, they should do that more. Like, what's another game that has gone uh, free to play since it was paid? Is there anything? I there's got to be oh, something. A lot of them. I don't think there's so. Been a lot of them. Um, shit. I know there's probably like two. Like half of the MMOs out there. TF2 was the major one. Yeah, TF2 is pretty goddamn big. Fuck, I don't know. I have no idea. Don't listen to me. I'm going to cry in a corner. <laughs> and then I'm going to make. And I did not make my bed. And I'm just realizing that now. I'm very I'm sitting on that. mine. Nobody can tell. <laughs> <laughs> my bed is over. But I I angle, sit, angle up I my sit camera. I so my bed, see. okay? Zio's got a lot of shit on his bed. Didn't we talk about that before we were on... Uh, these are live. It looked like there was a freaking blow up doll or some kind of body on it. Yeah. Hold yeah. on, oh, it doesn't matter. Nobody knows that I'm on my bed, and nobody will ever know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Until right uh, now. Yeah. Until right now. You can only see a wall, bitches. <laughs> only a wall. So you guys kind of need to calm down, eh? Just a little. Like, no, it's the fucking return of the Fuse War Network podcast. I'm yeah. as excited as I goddamn please. Yeah, nerds. Excuse what would you call me? Nerd. Oh, quit, quit, quit your nerd. Nerds. 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 Nerd. Nerd. <laughs> Imagine starting to freak out. Just ventilating. <laughs> you remind me of the character from fucking South Park. What what is his name? Dad? Tweak. Tweak. Yeah, he's like, he's like, <laughs> and he's just like on all nuts. Nerd. And you got that. Remember that? So remember the Lord of the Rings ep episode where who who played Gandalf? I can't remember. Friggin' uh, was it Cartman? No, no, no. It was. He uh, was dressed like him. No, it was it was the guy that stutters. He's like. <laughs> it was like, Jimmy. Okay, he's like. You yeah, that you shall you shall not yeah 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 it's just that's like my favorite thing it's like you shall not you shall not you shall not I love Jimmy so much it's like my favorite character out of South Park that and that and uh, not Stan but his father what's his name <laughs> Randy Randy that's it Randy yeah fucking love Randy Randy Marsh. <laughs> Randy Marsh makes me laugh so fucking much. Makes me laugh. <laughs> I, I, I like the one where it's like Stan walks in and he's like, Dad, why are you on Grandpa's wheelchair? And he's like, get me a beer, son. <laughs> I ain't going to live any longer. It's I need he to my alcohol. He's an alcoholic. He has a disease. Yeah, he's, he's like trying to make up a disease, saying like he's like naturally drunk and he can't <laughs> sober up. No, it's not making a He's like, Dad, why, why are you on silly. Grandpa's wheelchair? Why are you on Grandpa's spare wheelchair? And he's like, get me a beer, son. I give me another move. beer. Uh, I, I love Randy Marsh, man. That's that's like my favorite fucking South Park character, other than Jimmy. And maybe, maybe, maybe Cartman. 
Cartman's pretty fucking funny too. So. Hey, Mickey. Oh my god. I I had a uh, back when I was in uh, Boy Scouts, which was like God knows how long you ago. You were a scout. Yes, I was a Boy Scout. Yes, so was... What the fuck happened? You're gone. <laughs> uh, I took an arrow to the knee. Okay. Uh, no. No. I, I mean, <laughs> that's, right, that's it. Not you. <laughs> no. Right now, goddamn impossible. No Skyrim jokes. And that's broke. Wait a minute. Okay. Um, Wait a minute. Wait, before you go on, Brad, why am I looking at Facebook and on December 31st at 11.48 p.m., why are you wearing the same clothes? Are you? Did you change? Have you... Same clothes? What are you talking about? This, this is not a shirt. Change. I'm wearing a completely different shirt. We... I just have. I just happen to have this on. Oh, you're there. calling him oh, dirty. There we go. <laughs> no, I, mean, I wasn't saying anything. I just. Oh, was, you, you dirty know, rat! Oh. Yeah, yeah. You <laughs> can But I just, I just, you know, I just, happen, I just happen to be wearing my green shirt. Okay. And I like the way, oh. To Dave for interrupting me, I was gonna say, because Dave's an asshole. Whoa. Um. Um. I was gonna say that uh, one of my friends uh, used to do a really good uh, Cartman impression, and uh, at, one, at one time we went to uh, we did a skit about it uh, for the Boy Scouts, <laughs> and I was trying to do a line. I forget what my line was, but every time he did it, I couldn't even do my line because I was laughing so goddamn hard because he pulled it up perfect to a T. Like, like I could not stop laughing because I could not hold it together. My my question is, why the fuck are scouts doing South Park shit? Yeah, I don't know. And afterwards, did you make out with them? You no. had to get a badge for acting. Come on. No, I, I forget what we did it for. It was just a random the skit. We badge did. of entertainment. Oh, you know what? It was it was an entertainment badge. They should have had him just do his stand up. You know, oh, here you go. I stand up. Here you no, go. No, 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 no. They should have had Mufasa do the truffle shuffle. <laughs> That's even meaner. <laughs> you mean like you mean from like the Goonies two or something? <laughs> You're gonna bring in that fat kid to freaking start doing the truffle shuffle. Junk. And they're like, <laughs> he's done it once. He's done it once on this yeah. podcast. Yeah. But uh, I did it. Yeah. You speak of uh. South Park. Is anyone looking forward to Stick of Truth? Yeah. Uh, actually, I kind of am. It looks interesting. So I have to see what how that comes out. Wait, it'll be the day before it comes out, and it'll be delayed, delayed again. Yeah. Was, yeah, a yeah, lot of kids got, got delayed, delayed like this twice year. now. You know, it's okay if the well, game most defunded by THQ. Let them finish it. A lot of games got delayed to this year, so this is gonna be a year well, it's for because me. of THQ, right? Because THQ also shut down. Because THQ does a lot of fucking games. Budget cuts. I like THQ. I like EA. I don't care what people say. I like the big companies as well. THQ because they did mess up some wrestling games. They made the rest some of the wrestling game bad. But moving on. But they made a lot of good games too. Dude, they made some bad ones. Shut up, Zero. Here comes you know. the amazing. They did some good ones, but they did some bad. It's ones. like one of the best wrestling games of all time, right there. Besides No Mercy. Yeah, oh, yeah, everybody. I was going to say, fuck, if nobody, if you say the best wrestling game outside, the uh, the best wrestling game is this outside of No Mercy, you're factually wrong. <laughs> no Mercy no was the end all be all. Uh, look, yeah. we, all, we all know No Mercy is undoubtedly the best, but yeah. here comes the pain. Yeah. It's really close. It's a, really, it's a very good game. Ah. Oh. No Mercy was just that but fucking game. I think, I, and I'm going to make a bold prediction for this year, that the next wrestling game is going to be better. Because, A, this game, uh, 2014 was a little rush. Too much nostalgia. Can't even hear you. Oh, yeah, okay. Sorry, God, Pokemon. Yeah. Put your Pokemon Red and Blue shades back I'm, on. I'm, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry to say, but the only best N64 game goes to Mischief Maker. You want me to take off my nostalgia glasses? Here you go. Yeah, thank you. Okay, now look at nostalgia me. Glasses are off. 2K15 is going to be good. I, I see it coming. I see 2K15 being, like, the better. Because, like I said, once they drop THQ, 
I think 2K will definitely do good. I honestly thought 2K14 was pretty good. But... Yeah, I I love 2K14. Like they did fix some didn't of the really things. Didn't really seem to set. Uh, uh, I I kind of agree with uh, what what Smith said earlier. It didn't really seem to set anything apart from WWE14. Yeah, it fixed WWE14, but it didn't like. Yes, there wasn't really too much that set it aside. But I think once I I swear to God, I think the next ones once they have. <laughs> Full control of it, because now they have a full year to make the game. You know what I mean? Uh, unlike 2K14, which I think they only had, I think five months to do it. I think it was. I well, think it was five. I'm not sure. I think I, I don't remember. But they got sh- they got cut really short. So they were like, okay, let's try to make this game as fast as we can, make it look. But they didn't have enough time. That's what happened with 2K14. What would you like to see? A wrestling game every year or a wrestling game every two to three years? Honestly, if... I, 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 I honestly, I honestly say two to three years just because of technology to improve. Yeah, I mean, there's really no point in releasing a game every year. I mean, uh, Madden. It, it's really <laughs> good, <laughs> but at the same time, I always I, I felt that uh, the game... It, it, Extremely robotic. Every every uh, the wrestlers don't feel like they're like they like they, they do feel like they're wrestling sometimes, but like like when I think of the entrances, sometimes they look robotic as they're just doing something. I mean, I know that they're programmed to do set intros the, uh, the same style, but it feels like the Great Kali. I look at the Great Kali, he just goes like. But at least, but like in the in the real WWE, he he's, he's, he's more imposing game. and more. He's, he's got his fences, his fists clenched and stuff like that. He's, you know, he. Just... And then, and then when I see the great Kali in the real, actually WWE, I think, why the he fuck jobs. is this guy? He jobs all the time. Why is he, he still not fired? Why do we Hashtag still have him around? When, when, when they have the worst thing. Excuse me. Focus on Rich. Hashtag... Great Kali's around just. To be a big guy, he jobs Hashtag all the time. When is he's for wrestling? <laughs> Rich, that's beautiful. Thank you. Or... I made it like last year. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you did, didn't you? Yeah, I do it every podcast. Or um, speaking another, of something, another person who still amazes me and why they're still around is what's his name, Hornswoggle. Why? Why? I don't care if he's so there for just. Around. I haven't seen him forever. Oh, yeah, he's, he's I just stupid. learned he's... something. Do you know Los Matadors? Yeah, unfortunately. That bull is him. Is it really? No, it's not. No, yes, it's not. It is. The bull okay. is taller than him and skinnier and than he's, him. He's and he's a lot Mexican. thinner than. Yeah, he's a the lot thinner. The bull is thinner. a person, yeah. Yeah. Well, Where the fuck did you hear that, Chris? I've been yeah. hearing everything. That's it. That's get out. Shit. Well, uh, get out. I mean, we definitely know that Hunico now is Sincara. Yeah, yeah, he replaced the 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 original one. Thank yeah, God. He's Nico. Thank God. Yeah, this one this one doesn't fuck everything up. <laughs> oh my finger! Ah, call the. Oh, I jumped out of the ring and broke a freaking <laughs> finger. <laughs> oh, I took a bump. Oh my God! Call well, Mystico, I think Mystico did a lot more high action. Action stuff though. He, compared he was to a lot Hunico. quicker because he's smaller and not as muscular. But I, you know, I, you know I, the the thing they still haven't explained about Sinkara, the new Sinkara, is like, huh, that's funny. Now Sinkara has this really big fucking tattoo in it. Oh, they're order. not gonna say anything. They're just gonna <laughs> act like he's always been the same guy. Yeah, where did he get that? I don't know. Man, it's that... a new. Oh, they've been saying, oh, it's like a new Sinkara, like but, a new. But now that like. Hunico is going to be playing as Sinkara. I like, it makes me wonder, what's Camacho going to be doing? Uh, nothing. He's going to be released. He's never going to be seen again. Yeah. He's going to be the new Ultimo Dragon. <laughs> Cut the okay. shit out of the stick. I know, sorry, this is probably going to go wrestling for one second, but I need your thoughts about something. Mm. Batista coming back. What's your thoughts? I'm for it because it's his last yeah. run. Yeah. If he can yeah. still do you it, know what? let him do it again. You know what? I, I honestly see this happening. There's going to be a match between Batista and uh, um, I see it happening. Batista and Brock. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like how Randy Orton and John Cena had had this real big this real big match for the undisputed championship. I see a match between them two. I'm for, sorry, but that for, fucking for, rivalry was so goddamn annoying. Especially what was it, 2010 with the stupid 
that that freaking rate that I quit match. That shit was stupid. Like the entire build up to that was the most ridiculous thing. Like their rivalry was unnecessary. I the, the, fucking hated it. It was the stupid. way they wrote off Batista from TV just made me sad. Like that's not how I want to remember the guy. I, I quit. quit. I quit. <laughs> <laughs> that just made me sad. I'm in a wheelchair. Well, there's gonna be like a match going on with like John Cena and fucking. Brock Lesnar, and all of a sudden he just comes out and fucking power. Let me, let me make a prediction right now. I'm gonna make a prediction. I think um, somehow Brock's gonna get that. I know he's after that new title, the big unified title now. I no, think he's gonna get, get it. Get it right, Tyler. It's the the WWE right, it, yeah, heavyweight champion. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck, okay. Fuck let's the let's pe- get this out of the way right there. now. That's retarded. It'll always be the undisputed championship. No, it doesn't matter. Remember, it's what's best for I business. Get to my but... prediction, please, ladies. <laughs> Best for business, but go ahead. Jesus. I think what's going to happen is somehow Brock's going to get that around his waist or his shoulders, I guess, since there's two belts. Um, he's going to get it, and then I think Batista and them, he's going to go at it. They're going to go at it at WrestleMania, and Batista's going to get his one last title run. I think that's what's going to happen. Well, there's so much opportunity because uh, he's Batista's, in his 40s. This has got to be his last run. Batista's contract is two years long, so they have plenty of time to put. All those guys together, even Brock. Brock's around until the end of next year, so. Yeah. Um. What did I want to say? Um. I I I had it in mind. Oh, I've been hearing some rumors. Who's gonna? Uh, who's the like surprise people for the Royal Rumble? And it's interesting what I've been hearing. When you know who's one of them? Better not be Jake the Snake. No. Uh, think yeah, they don't want him. You're, you're thinking the old. You're thinking the right old. Hulk, Hulk Hogan. Hogan. Oh well, yeah, that's absolutely true. They're working with them. They're not saying Royal Rumble, but I um, heard Royal in, Rumble in some, in some capacity because he hasn't even signed a contract yet. In that's some capacity, he's asking for too much fucking money. No, they're they're really close. In some capacity, they're going to put him into WrestleMania being the thirtieth one, but then they're saying like even with a contract, sure he can come out with a guy. But who the fuck is going to clear him to wrestle with the stringent, stringent laws that they have under WWE? They're never gonna, they're never gonna clear him. So, he, like, like That's the most they could do is have him come out with somebody. Yeah, I don't know what they're gonna do with it unless, unless, um, what I'm thinking is he, they're gonna make a match with freaking John Cena, and he's gonna have him in a corner because they said that Cena is the modern day Hulk Hogan's, but. Yeah, Let they, me tell you something, dude. They've Nobody's said, bigger than Hulk Hogan. They've said that. They've also said uh, John Cena and uh, Hogan versus the Real Americans, which, you know, plenty of time to build up to, but I don't think they'd waste two of, like, huge guys for Swagger and Cesaro, you know? Even which, though Cesaro's, Cesaro's, like, a fucking amazing, amazing guy. guy. Yes, I agree with you. Did you, see that, NXT, did you see that NXT match he had? No. Oh my God! The I, Sami Zayn. Yes, that or was a, El Generico. <laughs> yes, he had an amazing match with. You them. should know him, Dave. He's from Canada. <laughs> uh, oh, El Generico. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ole, 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 ole! Bouncing souls. I just love whenever somebody talks about him, they joke about it. They're like, man, he has the man, worst, I, worst Mexican accent I've ever heard. That's the Chris, point. Christian is, Christian is the only person I honestly care about. <laughs> Still. Who? Christian? <clears throat> yeah. Oh, uh, what, what he doing? No. He keeps getting hurt. Well, the last time we saw him was at the Raw here in Toronto when he got beat up by the Shield. <laughs> no. Also, write him off for an injury he got. He came back during. Oh fuck! <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> slammies. <laughs> oh. Yeah. The real legitimate slammies ended in the '80s when they yeah. actually were doing it, and it was a private event, and it was actually voted on by oh. the wrestlers. God damn it! There's one more thing I just came up with. Right, right. Uh, guess who the Undertaker wants to work with? Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan. Yes. For a match for WrestleMania. Yeah, Bryan Danielson is the best guy in the, in the company right now. Yes, I agree with that. Yeah, he definitely has potential. But now he's he's yeah. joined the Wyatt family. I think you that's know, just gonna be some I think it's gonna be a big screw job against those guys though. I was gonna say that. Like you're talking about the best. Um Bray Wyatt is really impressing me. That guy is, I think, by far the best guy on the mic right now. Like, if you were to take the last four Raws and last pay per view, 
Open he, your the, eyes, Daniel. He's, yeah, he's the best. He uh, plays his character he, so damn well. Guys, like, was, yeah, he used to be part of the Nexus. Light. He was Husky yeah. fucking Harris. Husky Harris. Harris. Yeah, yeah, he was Husky Harris. Yeah, I, 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 I don't really find him that entertaining on the mic, honestly. I love him. Oh, he's he's awesome. so, his, his character is spot on. He just he like, I, I do like his character, but I don't really find him interesting on the mic. Though. You know who I wish they put more on the mic is Dean Ambrose. Because that guy... Oh that guy that is guy. like the modern-day Piper. Yes. Thank you. I thank you. Thank oh you for saying <laughs> that. that he is so no, he is so good, but they have him not talking except that little stuff they do in the back. You know, he okay. needs to cut a promo. That guy is amazing. Does anyone remember a wrestler by the name Sean O'Hare? And he worked yeah. with Tom yeah. Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. I actually, like, through, through his run with Chuck Palumbo and, like, even his solo career, like, with Roddy Rowdy Piper, I actually like him a lot. It's a fucking leather jacket. He's, he's, yeah, it's a fucking leather jacket, but god, like, god damn it, man. I just, I love those rest. like, I love Chuck Palumbo and I love uh, Sean O'Hare, like they're, they're all Billy and Chuck wrestlers. I just yeah. like I miss them. I wish they would come back. WWE, WWE, WWE posted an article online recently this past week about I think fifteen wrestlers that would have been huge if they were utilized properly, and one of them was Sean O'Hare, which was yeah. pretty cool to see. Yeah, gee, was one of them Chavo O'Hare Guerrero? Actually, Sean no. O'Hare actually like did a lot um, of crazy who are these shit. wrestlers. He's actually, I think, the only wrestler around its time that actually can put up a good fight against Rikishi. Remember the rivalry oh. between him and Rikishi? Oh, R- Rikishi's supposed to be potentially back on Monday for uh, the Retro Raw. Yeah, probably. Yeah, because yeah. they had him in the Wait, program, wait, wait, but, wait. Uh, is it too cool? Because if it's too cool, I'll be the fucking happiest well, that, that's, that's, Hottie was in it, too, I they, think. They had no, them, yeah. I think, I, I'm, pretty sure Scott, I'm pretty sure Scott Taylor and... Um, Brian Christopher are still in the um uh, the fact independent that Scott circuit. Is I, in, no, uh, no, Scotty Scotty's a firefighter now. Scotty, oh, yeah. yeah. Scotty's a firefighter now. Long, I thought the, the coolest thing I thought about Scotty Tuhati is that he's from Maine. Yeah, um, yeah. Isn't isn't Scotty Tuhati or or maybe the other? I can't remember. But is Grandmaster um, Sexy. Grandmaster <laughs> Sexy. Isn't he Jerry Lawler's son? Yes, yes. Brian Christopher. Brian Christopher. Yeah, Brian yep. Christopher. Yeah. Yeah. Brian Christopher is Brian. Lawler. That's his yeah. real name. Yeah. Well, I, I, like I refer that, to him as Jerry Lawler. But... I did like that little mini program that I had with him when he came back, and he was like, "You were the worst father." Nobody recognized him. Yeah. <laughs> I was, was like, awesome. "Oh, what are you doing? Cheer this I man!" Like, he had he had a Titan Tron and everything when he came back. It said was... Grandmaster actually, and nobody remembered because like, who's this dancing son of a bitch? I'm like, yeah, because it, remember? Okay, remember, I... it's all kids now. Oh God, Dad, this... who's the blonde guy? Dave, Shut up, Dave. <laughs> We have to do this now. Fuse for wrestling need to come out this year. Cancel. I'm done. <laughs> hey, remember, 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 cancel. Was, remember the Royal Rumble when all too cool just kind of like they were in mid wrestling and then like after like they were Mr. in Dance, mid the like, mid wrestling. Yeah. God, they were in the middle of the like Royal Rumble and all of a sudden like he stopped. Yeah, they danced. They looked at each other and they started the fucking ring. dancing and there were Kishi's just like double clothesline. <laughs> Fuck you yeah. guys. Toss them both out. Uh, it was just one of those things where it was like, it's a Royal Rumble, man. And they were like, what the hell? It's like, Royal yeah, Rumble. They, all just, they just both started dancing and friggin' you got the king and you got friggin' um, it's just like, it, it was fucking great. Their reaction is awesome. You know, they tried to reenact it with like the Usos and stuff, but it's just never the same. I, I love the so Usos. Cool yeah, the I Usos love. are one of my favorite tag teams. Yeah, I love the, the Usos. Usos are really cool. I'm glad they're getting more of a push now than they did like for the last year that they've been in the the, the business, because like, when they first uh, came in, they, they lost to Vladimir Kozlov and, um, what's his name? Um, Santino? Santino, oh. and the manager they had just jumped over to Santino. I was like, that's, that's kind of a... Uh, Reverse push there. Whatever happened to Vladimir Kozlov? I don't fucking he, he got released. He, he got really? fired. Uh, so did, He's wrestling so did in Chris Russia now. It, it, like two guys like Vladimir Kozlov and Chris Masters. Good. I, I, it what was sad to, to see them. What happened to Big Zeke? What happened to Big Zeke? Zeke is injured. He's, He's still not, signed. He's, He's still contracted with WWE, but he hasn't been televised yet. I have he no had a idea why. 
happened. And whatever happened to Evan Bourne? I mean, I like. No, he, he's, no, back. He's, he's back. He's, he's back, but he's back. not. His doing shoulder it. injury is gone, from what I hear. He's just yeah. been televised. They're trying to he's find a good Bourne. place to put people in. The only thing that's unfortunate with the Usos is they're getting their push now because of Total Divas, which sucks because they are a very, very talented yeah. tag team, and it shouldn't take a reality. Who fucking show cares if one of them to, is engaged to yeah, Naomi? Yeah, that's that's the yeah. thing. That's that's what it is. And that's you know, why you I, keep I, seeing I, all the stupid I, tag I really team, started right? liking, actually. You no, know, it was the primetime players. Millions I love them. Really? It's really. Hurrah, 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 hurrah. Oh, wait, sorry. Hurrah, hurrah. God damn it. <laughs> okay, now we're going to scare our listeners even more. First we went to Chewbacca, now we went to fucking freaking... Barking Zio. Barking Zio, god damn it. Scooby Doo all over again. What? Um. Oh, God. Did you guys? My uh, childhood. Did you guys uh, read online about how they uh, they ribbed Michael Cole on uh, <clears throat> on Raw with the, the the Divas tag match? What they did? What, what, no, I, I miss that. Uh, Ro- apparently, it was like main event or something. One of the shows I don't watch. Could have been SmackDown again. Another show I don't watch. Uh, where uh, um, sounds good. I don't know why you don't watch it. So Summer Ray, Summer Ray had a match, and they kept calling her uh, Rosa Mendez, even though Rosa Mendez wasn't even there. She was at home that week. They're both blondes, is why. Yeah. So so Michael kept calling them, calling uh, calling Summer Rosa. And then this week, uh, if you go back and you actually watch their the what, they the edited ten, it, didn't the, they? No, no, the ten the ten diva tag match. They had Summer Rae and Rosa Mendez wearing both red outfits that were exactly the same. Oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> to, to to rib them, you know. Yeah, it was pretty cool. It's funny. That's funny. Uh, Rosa, I mean Summer. Oh, in the red. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, another oh. thing on the dot the dot com site they had. Uh, a list of ten wrestlers that you should look out for in 2014. One of them was Summer Rae, and I was like, "You get that shit out of here." No, I'm sorry, that girl has no talent whatsoever. You know what we should do? Get rid of Summer Rae and bring in Ric Flair's daughter because she has ten times more talent than yeah, make Summer Rae ever does. Yeah, Ric Flair's daughter. Yeah, she's Woo! in NXT. Pretty, really talented too. Hmm. I forget her name. What His they're calling sons her. are talented too. Unfortunately, one of them passed away not too long ago. Yeah, drug overdose. Yeah. That sucks. But what can you do? It's It sounds cruel, but I'm surprised it didn't happen to his dad first. Yeah. That guy's yeah, like that's really bad, but I'm just saying Rick did a lot of drugs back in the day. It was I, it was That man can't die for some reason. And he's an alcoholic now, so I mean uh, he's like on and off all the time. It's like he has it, he's not He's gonna die in the fucking ring, I swear. Yeah, what's this? Just... What's this, Sizio Drew? Let's look at this. Oh, I had it up. Uh boop. Uh, Wow! Ah, cool. <laughs> Yay. What? Ugh. But yeah, what do you guys think? Do we uh, pimp off our stuff? Sounds good. I mean, we. This, this, I'm getting used to this already, but I mean, Dave's yeah, definitely more energetic I, I, I now than like, he was on Saturday. I, I feel <laughs> like we call it. I feel like we just jumped back right on the boat right now. Like seriously, we just. It didn't like, seem like we had no runs. Wait, 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 wait. Are we, wait are we already, are we already what, are we on the wagon? Wait a minute. Do I... So I have the choice of not being on the boat with all of you guys alone? I'll, I'll, just, I'll, 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 I'll stay on land. I'll stay... I'm sorry. Are you coming, Dave? Don't worry, take Dave. You come I'd, be the one, I'd be the one to sink it. He said then I jump in the water and go after Dave and start beating the fuck out of him. I don't want a wagon. I'm a rope. Take you and you just you on the back of the boat. We'll eat Chris for food. And then we rock the like, boat, you just rock say? the boat, baby. Rock the boat, don't tip the boat over. Like, rock the boat, don't tip the boat over. See you later, Donald. <laughs> yeah, he would have been like, see you later, losers. And then we'd be like, what did you just say? Just jump in the water and go swim to him just to kick Get his ass. Get your fat ass back here. 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 Oh, my God. Uh, uh, all right. right. You pissed me off, you pigless. Get Little pigless, a bitch. Get your fat so, so Bradley, where can people find you on the internet? Don't ever call me Bradley ever again. Bradley, Bradley. 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 Brad
Brad? This is not sticking around, okay? Like, Brad. Saba Brad Bradington. Bradworth. Okay. Well, basically, you can find this me on Bradley. YouTube. You can find me on YouTube. All, all of it's listed below. Uh, if, you want, if you guys want to check out my new project of Chrono Trigger, the re-let's play, I'm going to be having that up on my YouTube channel soon. And I have two more projects on the way. And I got finished Star Force. <laughs> still running. Uh, those should be done at some point. Hopefully this year, obviously. Um, but yeah, you can find me, you can find all my stuff pretty much listed below. And yeah, pretty much it. Yeah, Tyler. Alrighty, I can't. I don't have my fucking lower third today. Hopefully, I get that figured out next time. But um, you can find my YouTube channel, YouTube.com/slash/FuseForSpence. I'll be putting an update within the next day or so about what's going on, why I haven't been putting videos up, and hopefully, I'll get that fixed soon. But um, you can find me there, twitter.com slash use for Spence. Follow me if you want. I don't really tweet anything interesting, but do it anyway. Hey, Facebook. hey, hey, I, I don't like your tweets. What are you talking about? Fine. Uh, <laughs> Facebook.com slash use for Spence. Like my page if you want. I give all my updates there, too. Um, tweet, 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 tweet. Um, Ask.fm uh, slash use for Spence. Ask me a question if you want. I answer most questions uh, within reason, of course. Um... Xbox, add me, Fuse Force Spence, Son of a Soldier 13 on Steam, and I th think that's it. All right. Are you sure? Yes. Just okay. Like that. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, yeah, Chris, where can people find you? Nowhere. I don't want to be found. Excuse me. I'll find you. Don't ever address. say my name again. I don't want to be found. You think you're fucking Waldo? I know where you are. No, yeah, okay. Christopher. You're right Seriously, there. Seriously, well, you can find me everywhere in Steam, YouTube. Uh, YouTube videos anymore. I, I'll make them soon. More God Pokemon games. training card game now. Work, work got caught up on me. Shut Pokemon up. Who um, is this Mufasa? Uh, whatever. Everything you can think of, like... Uh, Fucking Twitch, fuck, whatever. Fucking Everything. Twitch. Fucking Twitch, Twitch. whatever. <laughs> Find, look for the name of Costa Fernando. You could probably, you could probably Google search my name, and I'm everywhere. I'm everywhere. All right. I'm everywhere. Rich. Uh, you can find me at youtubecom slash me. I got a. Facebook page you guys can like. It's the Hydrosmi's Games or something. I can't remember what it is. But I'm sure you can find it. Twitter at the Hydrosmi. But yeah, I think that's about it. Google search it. Yeah. You'll find it. Zio. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> well, you can find me. YouTube, Steam, Tumblr, DeviantArt, Game Anyone, Ask.fm, Google Plus, Twitch.tv, Facebook, and Meverse, all under the name Zeo Lightning. All right, let me see if I could do something here quickly. Let's see, let's see. Okay, so uh, you guys should see my second screen here. Damn. I don't know if you can. Okay. Oh, look at those sex. So we actually do. Ooh. You know, I will say this, like I said at the beginning of the show, or near the beginning of the show, we do have a store, and we're actively adding new. And different kinds of designs when we get sent them. I need to send uh, Chris some that I have. And uh, if you have any designs, you should send them over to Chris at Fuse4Network.com. That is his email. And he will be... I have a design. All the new stuff. So, you, there. Zio has one. Send it over to him. He'll put it send up it on Chris. the site. Send it to Chris. Send it to me. I'm taking care of all that. What I came up with. So, we have a whole bunch of stuff. Like, this is just eight items, but we have a whole bunch of other shit that we can add. We have hoodies, men's tanks, uh, wait, uh, women's... Okay? Oh, sorry. sorry. Oh, women's <laughs> standard tees, men's standards tees, slim tees we need, for uh, we need, we need women. Underwear. We yeah, need underwear. Yeah, boxer shorts. Let's go. We, we that's funny underwear. because we can add underwear. Can we get a zippy? We need to make that a thing. Yeah. Make that a thing. <laughs> If, if, DSP, if DSP can make we can, zip, we can, we can I go. guarantee it'll I, trickle I, your I, Boxers, and, boxers and, and briefs. And boxer briefs. Yes. <laughs> and hot pants. <laughs> and hot pants. <laughs>
<laughs> but but not with the fuse four on the bottom. Hold on, hold on. Like, fuse four <laughs> we need, like on the thigh. We need fuse four booty shorts too. We need no. We need fuse four yoga pants. Put them on the back. Fuse four on the ass. Well, Dave, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I need to get out of the screen share. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't fucking know. Oh, there we go. Okay. There. Okay. Got By it. By the way, um, another thing. To, oh, go ahead. Also, we might need to do this for, on the way, but I don't think we can get. Uh, look at my screen for a second. I don't think there's any way we can get any bigger. So. I think we can. I'll just have to look at it. I think. Yes. Look into it. Yeah, I just put I'll, the. I'll, uh, we'll look into that because yeah. I know uh, she said it earlier that we want we, to fit everyone's needs. Yes, because like unlike people, we got big people, and yes, I am. I'm he stands oh, yeah, up. He's like, yeah, me, man. I'm Whoa. big. I'm a big guy, but I don't care. Chris Fernando, oh, so shit! I thought he was gonna do the, another truffle shuffle there, man. I thought he was like, I'm a big guy. And lift up his shirt and go, yeah. No, he just says, screw you to us, and just drops his pants and just moves us right there. <laughs> oh. Oh, you can't see it. Dave, Dave, I do believe... Oh, yes, want to be a guest. Oh, yes, we have this as well. If you want to be a guest on the show or have any questions for us, be sure to email us at fans at fuse4network.com. Again, that is fans at fuse4network.com. Got two more things to go over here quickly. We'd like to thank... Uh, yeah, I got overlays here for days. Overlays. And he's got overlays for days. See that? <laughs> So we'd like to thank this week's sponsor, which is GreenManGaming.com. You can head over there right now. Up until January 6th, they have great deals up on many different titles, 50 to 75% off, all up until January 6th. That is GreenManGaming.com. Thank you very much, guys. We'd also like to thank another one, that another site that helps us out greatly with getting our podcasts onto iTunes and Stitcher. That's RadioInfluence.com. So if you haven't already checked them out, be sure to do that. That is RadioInfluence.com. And you can find the Fuse 4 Network on social media all over the place. One being YouTube, YouTube.com slash Fuse 4 Network. Facebook at Facebook.com slash Fuse 4 Network. Twitter, Twitter.com slash Fuse 4 Network. Um... We have Google Plus. Uh, trying to use that a little bit more for uh, Fuse 4 Network. <clears throat> I need to add this to this over here. Add that. What is knocking? Who is? Who? What? What? Why are you smiling? I will smile. You need that you. Tumblr too. Do you have Tumblr on that? Yes. What is that? My God. Fuse4network.tumblr.com. I believe I'm just gonna check quickly. Do, 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 do. I can't. I clicked the wrong thing because I'm an asshole. Do, 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 do. Yes, okay, we got it. <laughs> that is uh, <laughs> fusecornetwork.tumblr.com. Or you can check out our forms, which is at fuse4network.freeforms.org. Of course, all the information will be in the description down below. Uh, yeah, and from me, Dave McCauley, and everybody here, we'd like to thank you for watching our very first show of 2014. We have a lot of fun doing this. We're doing a lot more things in the future. We have job opportunities for people. If you're looking for uh, becoming a partnership recruiter and making some extra money, there's stuff like that. Um, again, we're always looking for guests on the show. If you're interested in becoming interested in becoming a YouTube partner, uh, be sure to send us an email. Uh, yeah, with all that good stuff. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I'm Dan McCauley, and for Brad, Tyler, Chris, Zio, and Richard, thank you all. We'll see you guys next week. New time, Friday, Woo! 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Goodbye, everybody. We love you. Bye, guys. We love you. Later, peeps. Yeah. Woo. Jesus, Kill.